Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just uh, give me a second here while we ping Twitter and the Discord, and then we'll have a little, a little catch up. But hello, people, and we can do some building today. Let's thank you all for turning up for a Saturday live stream. Uh, okay, I think we're okay, aren't we? Yes, everything's good. Hopefully, we won't have to stop the stream again this week to go and change out of 4K. <laughs> we should have, should have the right OBS profile selected. Either way, let's have a look, look at the live chat. Goodness, so many of you already. Okay, we've got Michael, Bad Wolf, Bad Attitude, Star, Damic, Dush, uh, Okonu, welcome in, my friend, Hex, DC, Nomis Towns, Star Stuff, Yash, Valentino, Some Person, hello, Marco, T Addict, says that we're on the TV while playing the laptop, but won't be chatting much. Excuse me, T Addict. I think we should be engaging. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Please chill out and enjoy the stream. On your laptop. Dragon Robin, Devon, and Negg is going to keep me coming for half the journey. We hope so. Hex, have a safe journey. Amanda, welcome in. Brendo, the Offendo, Exy as well. How are you doing, mate? Long time, Exy. How are you, mate? Nice to see you back in a live stream. Crafty Cats, Big Z, Cindy, Celeste. Celeste is always nice. Hello, buddy. How are you? Nice to have you here, mate. AJ Hawkins. Wonderful. Malay as well. King of Mashed Potatoes. Welcome back to Thessia, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. 4 a.m. stream pog, insane Lego. <laughs> Come back to bed, mate. Get back to bed. But welcome back to the Australian inspired city, everyone. How are you all? Hope everyone's well. Uh, we'll hop into Google Earth shortly here, actually. But uh, we'll have a little fly around uh, what needs to be named, actually, for Ant Marina. Uh, it was named in yesterday's premiere. If you did manage to make it, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, but yes, we do want to paint out a little district here. So let's go for. Yes, this will be fine. We'll just push it along this way. We're not missing out any policies here, I don't think. We'll try and snap it into those road guidelines while Eggs is here. I know he appreciates the neatness of it all. I've done that, that should do, I think. And tremendous. So this will become Ant Marina. Wonderful. Cool. But it's a pretty cool build, wasn't it? I really enjoyed it. Lots of very bold fusing, but turned out pretty nice, I think, didn't it? Pretty divisive, though. <laughs> we need to bring the pairs down, too. I totally forgot to do that. Love your last Thessia video. Hey, thank you, DK. Appreciate that, mate. I need that bridge in my life. It is on um, all builds, mate. If you want to come and grab it, you can come and get it for yourself. But, uh, yeah, it, it is there for public consumption. You go to all builds, and then you can search for Teddy's profile. Or if you're in our Discord... Um, it's also linked in the uh, Thessia channel as well. So, how far do we need to bring these down? That should be alright, shouldn't it? I don't want it to be too much of a drop, though, from the key. Seems like it's a bit of a drop, that, doesn't it? I guess you could jump down. I need a set of marina stairs or something. Like a marina stair prop would be ideal. But yes, I totally forgot to do this in the detail in time lapse. so my apologies. We'll do this first before we start the build. Let some other people turn up as well. We'll just set all these uh, pairs to be the same height as the others. That way, it's a little bit more consistent, hopefully. Bring everyone down to that one. Cool. Cool. So, yes, let's head over to Google Earth, because I want to have a little chat about what's going to happen with this space here, because this is what we're going to do today. This little kind of headland park. And there's some pretty good opportunities on Google Earth uh, to replicate some... Possible Sydney spices for the first time today. So we'll zoom out and give a kind of a brief uh, sort of context of where we are. So downtown central Sydney, right? Uh, Sydney Opera House is here. Big Sydney Bridge is over here, right? Very similar to Thessia, what we have at the minute. Um, but there's big open park spaces here, which would work perfectly. So I think what we will do is take a bit of inspiration here, right? We can see the key sort of breaks off for a bit of a rock formation. And there is robes knocking through here, so people can drive all the way to the head of the park. Which I think would be pretty cool. Also parking on the road here too. There's not really many parking spaces. Kind of like on on just road parking, isn't it? Not like an actual parking lot. But there is this little thing over here, which is pretty cool. Um, the succulent garden. And the Sydney fernery. I guess there's a botanical house, is it? Plant clinic? Yes, botanical garden in Sydney, of course. 
But uh, there's some pretty cool ideas we could possibly take from here. So we just use some part life pathways and a few more of our exotic trees. I think we can get involved in a little piece together botanic garden build if you guys are down for this today. So I think this is what we'll what what, what we'll get up to. Seems like a lot of fun to do in city. It's got these signs here as well. Sydney Opera House is ten minutes that way. Very cool. Oh, uh, Damik, with a £5 super chat, I don't have the means to join monthly yet, but I hope this helps. Thank you so much, dude. Everything that helps, mate. I really appreciate it. You don't have to donate, <laughs> but thank you. Very generous. I appreciate the £5, mate. And then G Nickel with a £4.99 super chat. Hope you just, uh, just a flying high. would be listening along as I clean the car and have a good stream. Well, thank you very much, G. Nice to see you, mate. And good luck cleaning the car, dude. I hope it's not an absolute mess. <laughs> so, no, thank you for the donations, guys. Very, very nice of you. Okay, so I think that's the plan for today. We'll do some uh, botanic garden stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Hey, Tiger Lily, welcome into the stream. Uh, Claire as well, welcome in. Truck, hey bro, how you doing, mate? Emma. Uh, there are some keys that have the stairs. Change one to the stairs, Egg. Uh, I don't think that would work for the purpose. I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy to try. But, because um, it pushes the key out, doesn't it? I mean, I guess you've got those ones that are layered. But that's too low. And then the other one with stairs is that one, but it comes... Hmm, do I hate that? It's not bad. I'll, I'll give you that, actually. It's actually not horrendous. So we do need to move the props and the buildings forward, though. Actually, yeah, I think that is kind of cute, actually. I'm, I'm actually quite a big fan of that. Um, Thank you so much. Uh, who was that? Some person? Good shout, mate. Good shout. Uh, let's grab the buildings and the props. Can we just slide you out a little bit, please? Is that okay? Go about there. It's better, isn't it? It's at least a solution until we can find some sort of marina stairs. I'm a big fan of that one, actually. Yeah, I'll tell you what we do need to do as well, actually. Bring another... A uh, key path connection down onto uh, the road here because everyone is walking onto that connection a bit further down the key and it looks a little weird that this is so quiet <laughs> we need more people to go down this way looks good it's a nice touch actually looks solid use the other stairs uh there is no other stairs is there These ones sink too low into the in, into the water. We can't use these ones. They're like under un, under the water. But, um, I don't mind those ones though. They're actually pretty fine. I'm happy with those, I think. Can he narrow it with node controller? Make it more like stairs. Um, I'm pretty happy with it as it is, to be honest. I don't think there's a need to change it too much. I think it's all right. Uh, we'll do the same over here again, actually. Let's uh, finagle some of these nodes around so it's all lining up where it should be. Let's go for the edge of the key there. Bring this one over. I always forget that we have different keys, you know? I always gravitate to using the same ones, but if you mix and match them, you can get some really cool ideas together. We'll have to shorten some of the keys here a little bit, maybe. Or uh, pairs, sorry. Push that one back to the next pier. That should do as I think I see. Okay. We could have got people walking down on these bits as well, but I doubt they would. I doubt they would. Park on the street is the wrong direction. I know it is. I know. Um, I can't change it though because I don't have the left hand drive versions on. I need to go get them off the workshop. We only have the versions for. Where is it? These ones, isn't it? Yes, right-hand drive. Uh, I need to get left-hand drive ones, but I will I will change them before next week's episode. But yes, I'm aware. They're the wrong way around. Cool. Much better. Right, anyway, let's get stuck in with the botanical garden. So, let's sort of see how we're entering the facility here. Bring Google Earth back over to our screen for a second. So, we've just got a little entrance road in. We drive past the botanic garden, and then everything else just kind of follows this road, and it's just general park space. Okay. Nothing too intimidating to start ourselves off, is it? So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice road. 
Uh, I imagine we'll probably have a couple of different little entrances into this place, actually. So, let's go with... An entrance down this way. Make sure we got some snappings on here as well. i to make sure I don't take up too much room with road network today because there's a lot of path work to do if we're going to do the botanic garden. I think we will terraform this out as well. It's going to give us a little bit more room, isn't it? Well, let's do that now over here. Oh, Sebastian Olquist with a 5CHF super chat. I'm not sure what CHF is, but thank you very much, mate. Uh, you, sir, doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Love your work. Uh, cheers from Switzerland. So I'm guessing that's Swiss. Is it crowns? Or that's that's Sweden, isn't it? I think. Either way, mate. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the the videos. Very generous, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. But yes, let's terraform out this key because it'll give us um a little bit more room to play with. We don't have that indent on the side of it. So let's hit it on the road guard line there with the curve. Should do a thing. Okay. And we did want to break off a little bit of the key as well, didn't we? Like it does in Sydney, it kind of returns to rock formation, so I think we'll crack it there. And then terraform this to come out a bit further. Swiss francs, thank you very much. There we go. Appreciate that. Oh, right, cool. Have this here. Let us push the land out a little bit further away from the key, and then we'll get some rocks down here once we reach this part of the build. Cool. That give us, should give us a bit more more solid mass to use now. And we are experiencing a slight elevation change, but we'll just soften this out. Should be pretty gradual, we shouldn't really notice it too much. Wait for that water to go away as well. And thank all 149 of you for being here on a Saturday. Thank you for turning up for the stream, guys. I do appreciate you all. Uh, you should add the dentist oddish from Finding Nemo. I'd be more than happy to have a dentist Finding Nemo reference somewhere in the city. Have to be near the um, Sydney port though, right, wouldn't it? We'd have to be over here somewhere. Hey, salute. Welcome to the stream. Welcome in. Uh, hey, Ian B as well. Welcome to the stream. And Boy as well, who is a Brisbaneite. Uh, we, someone was shouting out um, Brisbane as a possible a destination for inspiration earlier, actually, for a botanic garden. Cool. So let's have this come up like it does in Sydney. Not like that, but <laughs> no, no real looks like that. Uh, we've got a fair bit more downtown IMT to do as well today, so uh, we might head over to the inner city in a little bit and do some more over there. Uh, so it would probably make sense to hop back into the marina road here. I don't mind that happening at all. Get that hooked in. But I would like it to... Hmm. Just trying to think about how much room we're going to need for a build like this. Um, let's actually not bring the road this far down. We'll loot this sooner and give ourselves more room for the botanic garden down this end of the pier. So we'll have our road curve here instead. That should be alright. Let's create a new segment there as well so the nodes aren't too close together. There we go. Cool. And then we can just have a smaller road run off here to house the botanical garden. So if we're going to have the botanic garden, I feel like I'm saying that a lot today. I might just start referring to it as BG. Um, I don't think using an actual botanic garden is for well, the main entrance is going to be the worst thing ever, is it? I think we can get on board with this. So let's position this somewhere, somewhere about here. How far can we move you before you become disconnected? A fair distance, so we can create a bit of an entrance around it. And something like that should be fairly cool, right? Couldn't sit very nice with that bridge behind it, isn't it? Oh, and Okonu Satsu with a 7 euro super chat. So to set up my first live stream for a content creator, here we go. Thank you so much, Okonu. That's really generous, mate. And, uh, welcome to your first live stream. Uh, thank you for the, the super chat, buddies. Very nice of you. Uh, thank you. Uh, did you put metro near the marina? Uh, no, the metro will come over here in this area. The bus hub, probably. I don't know what we're doing next episode yet. I haven't planned uh, next this year. But yes, we will have the metro come over here in that episode. Okay, so we'll extend the entrance like that. Nothing too intimidating right now. Uh, we definitely want to be setting up a lot of uh, propless park pathways and 
think probably zoo probably zoo path prop which is the best for a botanic garden i think let's have a little glance back at what's happening in sydney they're pretty dark pathways aren't they they look more like um look at all that cool hedge work there as well we don't have any hedge props to make something like that might be able to do something with dirt pathways though to replicate something like that that might be quite fun uh, but in terms of this space, it's kind of blocks of flowers, isn't it, with the occasional path roundabout. And then we can spam different designs off of that. But pretty dark pathways, so probably part life path actually is the best thing to use for that. It's an important decision, you know. <laughs> you, have to get, you have to get the pathway right. So if we can fake an entrance coming out the back end of the Botanic Garden, that would make me tremendously happy little leg. So if we can bring this here. I see we can find a door asset to put on the back of that, but as if you're walking through the main square, right? So we'll have this run straight through the headland, that can go up there. Uh, and then we'll just start creating these little blocks where we can start placing in some more exotic flowers. I suggest BG, yeah. <laughs> it's easier to say, isn't it? It's easier to say. Uh, so we'll do five by four unit blocks. That's uh, four units out. There we go, five by four. Okay, and then we'll do a couple of these. I hope we're going to have enough flower variation today to fill this. We, sh we should do come the end. It should be all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll wait and see. <laughs> can always go wrong, of course. Uh, can we do a tiny baby roundabout here? Or does it have to be... It must be at least two deep wheel, doesn't it? Uh, it's, it's fine though, it's fine. Okay. And we'll delete that section in the middle, and then we can use this little roundabout here to spam off some different pathway designs. Uh, also hooking into the keys as well, actually, which is going to be quite a nice bonus for the build, seeing all these walkable keys get action around the Botanic Garden. It'll be a lot of fun. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Okay, it's been a, lot of, it's been a long time since we've seen Sarah. No, welcome in. It's nice to have you here. How has your day been today, Egg? It's been all right. Got a shower, did a bit of washing. I uh, played a bit of City Skylines too, which was fun. Yeah. BG Salesh, not BJ. That's a very different <laughs> that's a very different abbreviation. BG. Not J. Uh, maybe a small fruit orchid by the corner in the botanical garden, lined up between nature and reserve roads. Absolutely Salesh. Happy to have a fruit orchid in here. Right, we can use find it actually to dig out some of the uh, fruit trees as well. Um, okay, let's do a little meander along here as well now. And we'll hopefully take something into this headland here. We wonder if we can get an asset in here actually. Um, it would mean bringing a road up here, but. I wouldn't be averse to that. Imagine a unique... I <laughs> love that Mitch. Mitch is a level 1 unique building. That's so funny. Um, We've got quite a narrow space, so it would have to be a narrow unique. There's nothing immediately springing to mind. Do the observation tower. That's a really good spot for the observation tower. You see a lot from there. Uh, what are you guys say in the live chat? You said BJ, mate. It was Celeste said BJ. I said BG. Not me. That that was uh, that was Celeste. Uh, if there's enough room, you could add a government house, which is located there. Town of Garden Sydney. I did see that Valentino actually. I did see that. Yeah. There goes your NDA. No, it's not under NDA now. We 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 can talk about CS2. Our specific NDA kind of wording is that we can share excitement, concerns, and or dismay about the sequel, but please keep critiques limited as we haven't experienced the full game yet. So we can talk about CS2 now. If you guys want to ask me more than welcome. And Sarah Ducky with a 20 Australian dollar super chat. It's been ages, everybody. Good day, all. Uh, lovely to see so many familiar handles. Lovely to see your familiar handle as well, Sarah. Thank you so much for the super chat, lovely. It's nice to have you back in the streams. I really appreciate that doing this, Sarah is really generous. 
like a sacred tree or something. I think we might do a sacred tree, you know. I think a building, we're trying to force in a building down here, aren't we? But we'll leave that for future, right, to discover and decide what's going to go down there. And I'd love some more pathways linking onto these walkable keys here as well. Probably on... Yeah, we won't do it now. Link them in this way. Cool. So if we want people to actually come down here, actually, we're going to have to have it as a part life area, aren't we? To place gazebos and whatnot. Otherwise, if it's just going to be flowers, no one's going to come down here. So let's just give it a little part life area first of all. Generally paint out this area. It's not going to be as neat as the other one. Sorry, Exe. I have to bear with. There we go. And did I get the invisible gates for Thessia? Let me find out. I did not. They're not turned on, are they? No? Okay. We'll get that next time then. We'll just have to use a regular park gate for right now. Uh, we can blend it into the build though, so it's not going to be a problem. Yep, yeah, do a small part main gate there. And again, how much do you have to be disconnected or moved away from the road before you become unhappy? We've got quite a bit of distance there as well to cover, haven't we, for that one? Okay, we'll have that about there then. Let's start to configure a bit of a front entrance for the botanical garden here. Uh, I definitely said Jay, did I? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pin that one on Salesh. I don't think I did say Jay. You have to watch it back in the live board. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said B. Oh, I can't remember. That. BG is what I wanted to say, right? Egg said J. Did I? I'm, I'm, I must have done. I mean, the question of everyone's minor detailing egg. What in, in cities too? Um, detailing is very limited. Yeah, it is. It's um. Yeah, kind of the whole tree placement handles very differently to CS1. It's going to be quite a jarring experience, I think, for us to all go from CS1 detailing, especially if you're a modded CS1 player. It's going to be a very jarring experience. But it should also be noted as well that the build we're currently playing on um, is quite an old beta, and it's quite buggy. But we are getting a new build on the Monday, which is the one we're allowed to record on. So hopefully things are going to be a little bit smoother for that one. But uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's the whole kind of like supply and you know like all the new materials, like the immaterial goods and material goods and resources. That whole gameplay element is very prevalent. You really have to pay attention to what the city is importing and exporting. So if you enjoy that sort of gameplay, you're probably going to be quite on board with it all. But uh, you know, everyone's going to have a different aesthetic, aren't they? Yeah, I'll try to answer as many CS2 stuff as I can while we're. Still playing cities one. Uh, right, I love a pedestrian crossing out here as well, if possible. Fantastic. Uh, although I imagine actually, let's do some cool car parking here. Um, let's go ahead and grab a little 22 meter lot. We'll do a poorly maintained. I tend to prefer the texture on it. Uh, the gate in front of the Botanical Garden House. Mm, yes, the scope, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Absolutely, that should go there, shouldn't it? Yep. 100%. Uh, can I actually network multi tool this off for a vanilla pathway? I don't want the part life pathway here. Yes, we can. Okay. And then I'll just have a regular dirt pathway. Is that okay? We lock the segment and everyone's happy? Tremendous. Yeah, excellent shot scope. That would have been the obvious choice, wouldn't it? Push this down over here. Uh, we've got some weird old concrete stretch in there, though. Is that... Where's that coming from? There we go. That's what I want. Let's get it centralised a little more. Fantastic. Cool. Egg, why didn't you put that gate in for that? Yeah, we've done that now, so let's shout out to Scope for that one. And what do you think the biggest difference is between Cities 2 and CS1? There's a lot of big differences, to be fair. It, it does feel very different to Cities, to Cities Skylines 1. Um, kind of, if, if you're going to compare vanilla CS1 to vanilla CS2, they do feel very different games. They do. 
Uh, okay, car parking is what I wanted to hear, wasn't it? So everyone, it's going to be a bit of an odd stream today, bouncing back between Cities 2 questions and trying to build a full botanic garden on the fly. <laughs> so please, 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 please bear with me. Right, okay, let's get this road down here to service the car park. So then I think we'll kind of follow the um, curvatures of the road here if we can. Or your road guideline would be helpful actually. Uh, and angle. Yeah, something like that is more what I'm after, I think. And then we hit a grid snap in here with no angle. Yep, that down to about eight. Set this up to be a bend as well. We'll close those up. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm after, I think. It'd be nice to have a car park mimic the, the curvature of the road as it comes into the garden. We'll keep this going for road guideline and angle again. Let's hit that one. And that should do. And then we'll feed this back in. More interesting configuration. This one up to there. And then we'll also have an entrance into the car park from here too. And I guess it'd be good to have one down here actually. I need to soften a lot of this terrain out up against the bridge. Cool. Uh, could you have a caretaker or something behind the gate? We could use the um, campus groundskeeping building. That would definitely have a place over here, wouldn't it? Uh, is this botanical garden going to be Thessia's Chaos God build? Um, it, it could be. It hasn't been decided yet, AMB, but I don't see there's a reason why not. Right, let's get some parking posts up out here. Put a couple of the old disabled spots out the front. Always a pain placing it on curbs, though. This is going to be a little bit painstaking, but nothing we can't get through together, I don't think. Cool. And then, can we get away with placing three deeps on this angle? Yeah, you can hardly tell the overlap is there, can't you? I think we can just about get away with that one. Cool. Get these on the straight sections. Much easier to do. Fabulous. Just watch your marina build a little bit. Thank you, Jav. Really appreciate that, mate. Uh, maybe an Eggs on Toes podcast, have people submit questions and you answer them. Um, I'd have to check with Paradox <laughs> if I'm allowed to make a podcast on the early access release. But uh, if I am allowed baked, yeah, there's no reason why not. I'd be happy to do that. You guys would want a Patreon's podcast talking about favourite questions for CS2. But um, I think we're going to do, because on the 8th of September... We're allowed to do either a one hour YouTube video, uh, three shorts for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, um, or a four hour live stream. So I think we're going to do the live stream just because that's going to be more CS2 content for you guys. So if you're all happy with a live stream, that's what we're going to be doing. So I hope that's something you would look forward to in some capacity at least on the 8th of September, that is. And uh, we also have um, criteria of what we're not allowed to go past. So in that first live stream of four hours, we're not allowed to go past the, the fourth milestone. So um, I think I'm going to do a live stream. But if you guys would prefer a video, then I can do a video. But it would only be an hour. If it's a stream, it would be four hours. So we can get a bit. So it might do a poll for that, actually. Wow, we've got 203 of you here. Thank you for turning up as well, by the way, guys. So uh, concrete up our car park here. Start to form a bit more fanciness around the front of the uh, tonic garden. Uh, let's go for brush. Yeah, so it, it'd either be a one hour cities one uh, cities two video or a four hour cities two live stream on the eighth. 
Yeah, how did three shorts equate to a four hour stream? Exactly, EMB. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, okay, whatever. I wasn't going to complain. I'm a, I'm a streamer over a shorts producer anyway. But uh, yes, let's ask that poll. So we'll do eggs 8th of September CS2 content. Would you prefer a four hour live stream, a one hour video, and I'll include the option just because we can, <laughs> or three shorts. Please don't vote for the shorts. <laughs> really hate them. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, there's a poll in the live chat. Please do feel free to vote on that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> straight away. 91%, 88. Oh no, there you go. One hour video is pulling it back. But uh, yes, I'm pretty sure we're going to do a live stream on that in a minute. Uh, okay, let's get some... I, just, I don't really want the Botanic Garden to be out here. We should probably stick to kind of classic Aussie palette trees out this way, I guess. We're not in the garden yet, are we? Gums and pines, iron barks, etc. Actually, let's leave an iron bark for inside the garden. And some of our smaller trees as well. Lots of gum trees through here. Um, can I get away with some nature reserve pathway here? I think some nature reserve propolis might be quite welcome, actually. Just uh, almost like as a well trodden path through these little muddy garden spaces. I think we can get on board with that. And then can we have the same one up here as well? Can we can we dirt this up a little bit? I don't really want a lot of grass through here. Make it look like a little bit of natural fessia still remains in amongst all the development. We'll see what we can do. Make it a bit of a tree lining as well. Something like that. Some overgrowth around that as well to kind of hide that very rough, obvious border between the surface painter and the grass. Got some trees and rocks through this formation as well, hopefully. Nothing too... too massive. Not like that. <laughs> no, that's not too big. Yeah, let's get some of these cute little rocks in the actual car park design itself. Welcome to the Botanic Garden build, everyone, which has actually turned into a botanic car park. But at least it's going to look nice, isn't it? Can we get some smaller, cuter bushes in there too? Yeah, a couple of those ones would be nice, wouldn't they? There you go, people are using that pathway back up to the road. I like, I like that. And... Let's get some taller, thicker trees in now. I need to stop using those gums. They will eventually kill the frame rate if I keep putting them everywhere. It's those ones. The, um... Yeah. The 3,000 triangles <laughs> per asset. Incredibly frame rate killing. We have to be careful of those. And... Any medium trees we're a fan of? Or olive, maybe? We're gonna crowns. Like kind of like a natural continuation of that dirt bank up to the road again. I think I'm pretty happy with that, right? Those nature reserve pathways really help actually. Okay. Uh let's have a look. Um can you <laughs> can you do the live stream from a crane? Do you guys want it from a crane or just on the ground like regular people? No. <laughs> Probably. It probably will not be from a crane. Uh, hey Egg, could you plan for a ferry dock next to the greenhouse as well? Would we need to take a ferry to see some nature reserve? Uh, we don't really have a downtown ferry system in yet, but um, yeah, there's no reason why not. So what would be good as well from that particular location would be... Um, so we're just going through a massive auto save at the minute. We should be okay. There we go. That was a scary one, wasn't it? Uh, but speaking of boats... The asset from the nature reserve at the zoo. Yeah, the sea life enclosure. This, is, this has got to be pretty good out here, right? 
Let's also not forget our sets from the zoo, actually, for the um, botanical garden. The birdhouse would go nice out here as well. Um, but yes, we, we probably will have a downtown ferry system for this, yeah? Because there's so much water, it'd be weird not to, right? Uh, right. Who voted for shorts? Yeah. <laughs> Who probably voted for shorts? So let's have, let's have a little hydration break here, shall we, in the night time view? And we'll have a little catch with the live chat. I feel like I'm not talking to you guys a lot today. So interesting, pretty much two thirds of you going after the four hour live stream. Interesting. But yes, it, it probably will be the live stream. Has to be four hours, yeah. And then um, the VOD also stays up as well afterwards, so you can watch the VOD afterwards of four hours of City's Tier content from me. If that sounds like something you're interested in, <laughs> then you can watch it. But yes, a posture check and a hydration break, please, everyone. And thank you for 209 people hanging out on the streams. I appreciate you all spending your weekends with me. Very nice of you. Hey, Stuart and Liam. Welcome into the stream, boys. Ian's on board for four hours. Uh, is a Gold Coast inspired section possible in the future? Um, yes, it is. Waka, it is very much possible in the future, mate. I imagine a lot of Gold Coast stuff might go over that side of the downtown. Some of the beaches around here. Gold Coast inspired builds. Damn, it's so relaxing. I'm afraid I might fall asleep. It's okay, Akonu. <laughs> we'll still be here when you wake up. Crane. Yeah, stream it from a crane. Are there any regular people here at all? I don't think there ever is, is the star. <laughs> I don't think there ever is. Those crane gameplays were a disaster. It wasn't the smoothest marketing campaign you've ever seen, was it? No, it wasn't. I think, though, it's always that thing where you know, there's no such thing as bad PR. I think it was almost that kind of situation, wasn't it? <laughs> Where it's like, could this be any more of a meme? But because of that, it got so much more exposure. Yeah. Either genius or a disaster, depends. What your opinion on marketing is, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you can try the floating garden you need to build in too. That's a good shout, Half Floating garden will look good down here. Um, In the country, no one has the gums near their homes. Why Bad Wolf is there? Some gum, gum law we're not aware of. Uh, great Saturday night in, quite a hip attitude. Whatever theme or setting Thessie uses has the prettiest water, especially over rocky beaches. It does, doesn't it, Jody? I do like Thessie's theme. Very nice. Cool. Uh, with the lungs of the city. Um, with some help from Robert fit in there. Probably would. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a huge asset, is it? Would you do an F1 course in this year? I'm not massively keen on an F1 course. It's like insane prop detailing to get one to look good, which isn't really my my forte. M maybe if there's Albert Park in Melbourne we could have a look at. It'd be a very late series build if we did an F1 track. No puns at the minute. Yeah. Why not stream from a fence? <laughs> stream from anywhere but a bloody crane. Okay, so let's explore the possibility of some boats together then. Uh, let's have a look at some boat action. So, ferry stops. I wish we would have had another ferry stop, you know, in CS1. I feel like all the packs and updates we've had, we could have had another stop. Um. I mean, it'll perfectly integrate onto the road, so if that's going to be the most obvious, obvious choice, should we just do that? We'll have it there. And then just... I'm going to spin it so that 90 degree kicks back in. And can we have it a little bit lifted up? I'll have to change the key to the one without the fence, but that's easily done. And let's have it there. It's going to do a job, isn't it? There we go. We will also upgrade our key here too. Uh, we do already have the Ferry Depot in, don't we? Because there's... I'll tell you what I see. There's... Ferry's already going back into to Valkyrie, isn't there? So technically, we could actually hook it in. It's a long, bloody ferry ride, but... I guess, I guess we'll do it. You can actually take a ferry from Sentinel all the way to the downtown now. Um, <laughs> which I'm guessing isn't massively realistic to Australia's 
water infrastructure, I'm, I'm sure you can't get a, <laughs> a boat around the entirety of Australia. That isn't a cruise liner or some kind of serious ocean ship, not a casual passenger ferry, but we're in modern cities one, so who cares? I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll do this then. We'll link it up with the ferry network that goes back and to from Barkway to Sentinel. And we'll see just how keen the AI is to take ferries. Can not find path? Are you sure about that? Did we miss a connection somewhere? Or are they too low? Well, it should be okay. Can we... You won't find your path back. Why? I'm not sure. He won't find his path for some reason. Uh, we don't have a broken ferry line in. Let's uh, end this poll here now as well. 136 votes. Yeah, two thirds of you on board with the live stream. Yeah, it's probably what's going to happen then. Yeah. No, it's not a ferry line, it's a cruise. Yeah, although for some reason the, the game doesn't want to snap into it though. I don't know why. How about we draw a separate ferry line? Back to this stop and then come back. Okay, it will it will do that one, but extending it down, it, maybe it's just too long. Maybe the game won't allow a ferry line to be that long. Which is fair enough. Uh, okay, let's change this then. Let's go for, I guess, the seventy capacity. Pretty cute looking, right? Cool. Those boats are going to take a very long time to get down here. So, yeah, we'll just have a separate ferry that runs from downtown to, to uh, Valkyrie. And then they can just ferry back and forth. Cool. And oh, look at that. There's already lots of people coming down for it. Yeah, two people already waiting for it. You guys are going to be stood there for a long time. Those boats have got to come all the way from Sentinel <laughs> to get out of there. Bloody miles away. Um, can we get a little bit of commercial around uh, this ferry stop as well? Be on a catfish cafe or something. Just a little bit of a chill point, maybe if you're waiting for your ferry. Can we angle the catfish cafe? We absolutely can. Let's give a little bit more purpose to the ferry stop rather than having it on its own. Uh, hey Egg, I absolutely love your vids, can't get enough of it, love the level of detail you put into your cities and your builds have a lot of personality to them, keep it up and more live streams please, thank you so much Asuka, I really appreciate your kind words mate. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos, thank you for the nice words, you guys are also very cute you know, I get so much, uh, even when you guys don't like a builds, you're still very sweet about it, <laughs> it's all, all very humbling, I appreciate you all. Um, right, like, what tables are in this asset? A fish and chip shop, yeah, we got a fish and chip shop down here, no problem. Um, I want those tables, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, a couple of tables by the water, an extension for the, the catfish cafe here. Um, in terms of bus lines, yeah, we could just run. I do want to bring a bus line down here eventually, so I guess we can just prep that for the next episode. Uh, we'll have it depart the ferry terminal. Coming down this way. Stop by the path, and then can we get you to loop down to the ferry terminal here? And then stop at the marina. And then that'll bring you back through. Yeah, you can loop around here. And then we'll feed it back into the ferry harbour. I imagine that's going to extend further down this way once we know what's going to lie down there. But yes, we can absolutely have a bus. Let's also have a look at the bus line. This one here, let's change it up to... I do like the Railroad to Japan commuter buses. I think we'll have one of those on. 
go. Let's get some bins down here as well. we still got the world's largest bin as well that we haven't used. This is from um, a Melbourne pack, I think. World's tallest bin. Get one of those in there. And can we get like a little news stand in as well from the part life props? Maybe grab a newspaper or something or a magazine before your ferry journey. Something like that. Got some trees behind this too. I hired some of the surface paint to work that isn't quite as easy to blend out. Okay. Don't mind that next to the little uh, fairy terminal there. Uh, bad attitude though with a great suggestion. Um, fish and chip shop from the um, the tour is a massa, isn't it? No, leisure. Yeah, that one there. Now, I know you will mess with the terrain, but if we angle you appropriately, can we make do on the side and we'll shift this spawn point out? That one there. And then we can have like two commercial units either side of the ferry stop. Push our service paint brush on a bit here too. Get all that done. Are we happy with that? Little seafood grill next to the shop. Not too bad. Gonna depart for a while. See you all later. See you later, Exe. Thank you for hanging out, mate. Nice to see you again. Take care of yourself, bud. Uh, at a bus line to the ferry, yes, we've done that. Exceeds the line limit. Ah, okay, Maz, that'll be why then. Thank you, bud. Um, I'm still playing a console, which I do love, but I enjoy watching you do even more. I'll check my top channel. Thank you, Jody. It's very nice of you to say. Bin chicken coven. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we can do um, a bin chicken coven around here while we've got a, a bin. Um, was it just animals we searched for? Well, oh, I'll have to go and check what the um, thing was from the last one. Oh, it's gone. I don't have it turned on. Oh, it must have been saved in the sky profile. Uh, no, I don't have the animals turned on currently. I need to make sure I add them back in. Um, but what we could do is we do have a crocodile. So we can get a crocodile coven in if you like. We've not done one of those before, have we? Yeah, I'll have to go turn the other ones on. That's fine. We, we, we can do them, though. We, we can't do bin chickens every time. We'll do a crocodile one. Are you going to have a preview of CS2? Uh, no, we do have the game now. We have we have the game to play. But uh, it is uh, an old beta version. It's not particularly sort of, like, new. It still needs to... We, we, we're going to get, like, an updated uh, branch of it in a few, uh, on Monday, I believe. Uh, right, let's just briefly hop back into Google Earth because I want to just have a look at how the flowers are laid out here. So, can we get a street view on like this particular garden? Would be like amazingly helpful. Oh, isn't that cute? That's a California palm. And then they're all in this kind of wood chip bed with tiny planters with very small flowers in, aren't they? Okay, we can absolutely do this. Is that someone's head or a dog? I can't tell, actually. <laughs> you could make a game out of that, couldn't you? Is that someone's hair or half a dog? Not sure. Um, are all the little plantations in the garden like that? We check out another one. No, there are some that are just planted, I guess. No particular rhyme or reason though, are they? It's pretty... It's pretty sporadic. 
some rocks in there as well, little rock gardens to be had. Okay. These look like gums. These are gum trees, aren't they? Look like them. Okay. Cool. So we do have some of those planters actually. Um, use them in the last build. Yeah, it's kind of these ones is what we were looking at in uh, Sydney, wasn't it? There were some of these marble ones would actually probably be quite welcome. Got a couple of different styles here. Marble. Yeah, should we go for these big marble ones? I think they're perfect. So again, they're, they're pretty random, right? so we'll have one here. We need to actually paint out all these squares with what would be that kind of wood chip filler that we saw in Google Earth. So we'll have all the botanic garden squares be dirt. I'd like a few more here. A pretty underwhelming botanic garden to just have four squares, I guess. But we, I guess we can fit some more in further down. So let's grab of these and we'll just have generally random configurations of them because they weren't in a, a pattern worthy. There was also a very random California tall palm in there as well. We'll have that. And some more exotic looking palms like a date palm maybe. We'll put those in the corner. And then there's lots of very small colourful flowers in these planters. We'll try and get a few different variants of them. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure how diverse Thessia's small plant collection is. Um, let's see what else we've got to play with. Vanilla trees would probably be quite welcome here as well, I imagine. Things like the palm plant. And this large bush as well. Not for a planter though, we'll put that somewhere else. Hmm. Is there any medium trees that are relatively small? No. Of course, we've got the content creator ones too. Rodeos would look well in here. Long grass is a little big. Don't need a wild hedge. Be happy with that. Uh, Egg, what map are you going to pick for your first CS2 build? Um, I've only played Mountain Valley at the minute, but that one's really nice. Um, yeah, I think probably Mountain Valley might be my first one. The mountains are really nice on it. The, the mountains are a lot nicer in um, in CS2. They look a lot more dramatic and properly scaled compared to CS1. Might merge a flower there, so there's a couple of little colourful bits on the bottom with a little bit of grass bloom. I guess we can do some plant fusing to make a more interesting plant. Okay, that's not too bad for a little start, is it? Go ahead and get some uh, rocks arranged in another one. Of course, we've got our nice workshop rocks as well we can use. Uh, these ones here. Uh, I think those rocks are edible. <laughs> you have to check with the postal control man. It could be edible. Yeah, we just had some little rock boundaries as well, didn't we? In that botanic garden in Sydney. So we'll have that there with um, a few chunkier highlighted rocks along the boundary. It'd be a really nice space filler for this view up to the city as well, shouldn't it? Let me try and leave that view of the city in as well, rather than just recording the dirt. <laughs> it's not the most, not the most interesting, is it? Um, can we change up our planter here? Uh, let's go for this little hexagonal one. Do five this time. Yeah, I feel like we might run out of plants to put in the planters. Just due to the variation I have of them. Where are those little colourful numbers? Can we get the little yellow one in? That's pretty cute, right? A little purple number as well. Uh, 
regular tree like that. This will look pretty cute, isn't it? Yeah, I love seeing those cruise liners come in and out of the, uh, the harbour right from this partland. That's a really nice perspective of them, isn't it? Yes, please, everyone. Okay. Don't mind that. Uh, a bit of node control, actually, would be welcome on these pathways, you know. Um, especially the larger ones. You don't have to worry too much about having tighter nodes on a pathway because they're not cars, they don't get stuck. And probably this front one as well might be stretched out a little bit and we'll just move that rock along a little. There we go. Cool. Uh, vanilla big bush would work. What about uh, vanilla color trees? Yes, eight vanilla color trees would be a good shot here. Yeah, some of these. Some of the other vanilla trees actually as well. The uh, things like the Chinese wind palm would be good. Uh, well, let's just pop back into the botanic street view if you like. See what other sort of configurations that we're playing with here. I'm going to try and make it as accurate to an actual botanic garden as possible. I mean, I guess the trees aren't always that impressive, aren't they? These are just like standard little green numbers. It's not like they're super short. And then like really thick, dense foliage here sometimes as well, isn't there? On these sections here, that's like very overgrown. Can we read one of these signs? Seeds that reap to grim harvest. No, I can't read the rest of that. Does this explain this, what's going on? This is actually good detail and inspiration though, because we could um, post some signs around here. Arrival of the first fleet. What's this? Is this some Aussie lore? But yeah, it's not far from this spot. <laughs> Australia's first prison was founded. <laughs> of course it was. Okay, yeah, we can get some prison signage knocking about. That's all right. Uh, but yeah, for those purposes, um, we're definitely seeing a lot of these signs around, aren't we? These sorts of ones like park sign number two to direct people around around the garden. And then in the nature reserve stuff, we've also got some signage. That would serve those sorts of purposes that we just saw. You know, this is Thessia's first penal colony was not, well, was established just a, a short jog from here. I know, I love like the first bit of Aussie lore we stumble across is <laughs> where Australia's first penal colony was founded. Hilarious. Right. Aussie lore, we, yeah, we, we do mean history, yes, we do, yeah. <laughs> Just lore. Same, same difference, isn't it? Uh, right, so I want lots of, um, is there an overgrowth I can get in here that won't spill onto the pathways? Something like that. We'll try and make one of these little overgrown sections. Um, let's get one of these in. Something smaller and shrubbier as well. That's what will be good for this area. Those little shrub clusters we've got. If they don't bleed too heavily onto the pathways, because they are they are quite bushy. Yeah, I can just about live with that, I think. Maybe it would have been slightly wider, couldn't it? But it would be okay. Alright. Uh, let's do some more of that. See if we can get some thicker trees in. did say I wanted to save one of the hardwoods as well, didn't I? I'll have one of those there. Oh, there we go. I'll actually just duplicate this one here. Grab those trees. And put it under there. How are we feeling now? I do block the view to the bridge, but I think it's alright. I guess it makes it a bit more dramatic when you walk through to reveal it, doesn't it? Lo and speak of the devil. <laughs> there is Teddy Radko. Just as we look at his bridge. Welcome to the stream, Teddy. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. Do you want to see your bridge now? It's all busy. All busy and moving. 
There's uh, trains and metro on it now as well. We'll hopefully see some of them. Yeah, it's all moving now. Thanks so much for this bridge, Teddy. <laughs> I cannot just uh, hammer home how much of a gorgeous addition this has been to the city. Perfect, mate, like, honestly. Absolutely love it. We've got the stadium in the foreground. Are you interchange now, too? Very dramatic. Yeah, yeah, the hot bridges in your area. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Uh, do we have a Boab? We do have a Boab. There's one in the um, vanilla selection. That's from the content creator trees. Yeah. Should we have the Boab here in the um, corner? There's actually a Boab tree in... God, I'm getting my Aussie cities mixed up now. Perth in the King's Botanic Garden. It's uh, it's really cool. Because we'll be doing that build over there next to the um, green belt. That's something to look forward to, I think. Okay, put that one in there. Keep trying to find some more exotic tree placements as well. For like, What I would like to start doing, actually, is dropping some part life assets in here so we get people actually coming in. Um, I think a gazebo would be more than welcome in a botanical garden, wouldn't it? Also do the same over this way. King's Park, yeah, that's the one, isn't it, Bad Wolf? King's Park has the, has the, the Boab tree. But did, did I call it King's Garden? I'm sorry. Yeah, King, King's Park is what I meant. Some, something like that, anyway. <laughs> I think. I think I'm sure it's something like that. Oh, so excuse me, like, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of Australian cities. And taking in names of different places. Very overwhelming. Very overwhelming. <laughs> it takes a while for my brain to take it all in. Although for some initial CS2 spices, I have been actually been looking at... Um, Potential Canadian inspiration for one of our first builds. Which is uh, a lot of fun, isn't it? We have never looked at Canada before. I think besides very briefly during the very, we might have referenced Vancouver in a build, but nothing beyond that. Okay, let's get some of these in still. Right, maybe... A ring of content crow bushes in the roundabout and a viewing deck. Yeah, that'd be a good shout. We can do that. That'd be good. Let's get lots of these little bushes. Oh yeah, they were just kind of in a row chilling out, weren't they? There was no like sort of particular exhibition to them, if you know what I mean. They were just sort of like, here you go, you're in the botanical garden now. Uh, please enjoy the trees and just sort of left to your own devices, it looks like in Sydney. Oh, some of these little um, fun palm numbers, actually. A traveler's palm would be quite cute here. Wild head as well, of course. Oh, we've got Teddy in. Right, and then can we get some of the uh, vanilla trees in here now? Little pops of colour. In amongst all that green and brown. One of those larger vanilla bushes as well. Try to keep a lot of variation if we can help it. Uh, maybe... Of course, Jacaranda. I'm forgetting about the jackets. These are quintessentials, aren't they? And a little bit of just subtle undergrowth underneath that to help it. Should help, alright. Thunderboxes. Yeah, we can get a thunderbox in here. Yeah, should we get um, one on the back of the botanical garden? Um, guess here. Be a good shout. That we do need to do actually is bob those crap vanilla trees off of the botanical garden, don't we? Let's immediately get rid of those. Just all of you leave. There we go. Thank you, Robert. Live live perform <laughs> live performances for Robert again. Okay, we need a name for this as well, by the way, guys. Um if you'd like to We could call it the the botanical jail, based off what we saw in, in uh, Sydney. Oh, we did mention the zoo assets as well, didn't we? Yeah, the new tiny park assets would go well if you can cheese a road in somehow. 
Oh, Mac is right, isn't he? Yeah, all of those little like seed gardens and stuff, they would go nicely in here, I see. Well, I do have um Oh look, yes, people are walking on the key into the botanic garden. Yes, please. Do you see that? They walked all the way down from the marina into here. And he's gonna walk through the front door, right? No. <laughs> no, he's not. That's fine. Right, he won't walk through the front door, would he? Because it's not bloody connected, you idiot. It's just aesthetic at the minute, isn't it? Um. Yeah, there you go. Now it's connected. Now they might walk through the front. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's a winery called the Arenberg Cube in South Australia. Maybe there's an asset for it. It's a very unique building that might look cool on the water. We can have a look at it, Jody. We'll have a look. There is um, a few Aussie assets on the workshop, though. Uh, the tiny vegetable garden part would be a nice touch, it would, it would be. We'll see if we can get a road in here. Uh, any neat parts of buildings that might fit? Yeah, Mali is right, actually. Um, we could explore the world of sub-buildings. There probably will be something that goes here. Um, I want the birdhouse in as well, though. Where would the birdhouse go? Well, possibly here. Let me delete that connection. And we'll have you sat... Where's the entrance? There is no entrance, is there? Well, there's an entrance of birds, but that's, I guess, just a hole in the roof, isn't it? Yeah. No. <laughs> what did that eagle like? Slow mo fly around. Okay, so Aussies have kidnapped some American bald eagles. And they're putting them on a show in the Botanical Garden. Get some further trees around this if we can. And um, go for maybe. Some of these Chinese wind palms that we never ever use. Get three of these with a bit of bamboo and some clusters of overgrowth with some little rocks around them. Okay, uh, we also had a shout as well for a ring of wild hedge as well, didn't we? Do that. We'll have this on a two meter fill. And go for... Out there. Gotta keep checking the ground view from this garden here, make sure we're still. I mean, that's a really cool central with the boab tree, isn't it? With the bridge in the background, that's really nice. <laughs> that's great. Really like that. That emerges, you just kind of like brush through the leaves. Oh, Salesh Patra with a 1000 Indian rupee super chat. Salesh, you're insane, my friend. That's two in one in two days. He's so much money. I'm living, loving the garden, mate. Just another inch closer to have a realistic city. Thank you so much, Salash, dude. Just crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate the donations, buddy. Just, Salash is different gravy. He can't get enough. Really appreciate you, mate. Thank you for the donations. Okay. Um, any other zoo buildings, actually, before we move on from that? I did want the other one as well, didn't I? The sea life enclosure. Um... Which I think would work here. Well, actually, it, it might not. It might be too obnoxious. We'll, we'll try it. Um, it does want... This one here, though. Could we... Line you up so your entrance is kind of... Like that. And then I guess I'd want it on the edge of the key like we did with the ferry stop. Let's upgrade that into a fenceless key. Just slide our nodes around a little. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not, <laughs> that's not what we want to happen. Let's try that again. There we go. That's what we like. And then, let's see we might have to add another node in here. There we go. Upgrade that one back. That's not bad. Do we like it? I think some assets next door would certainly help. Um, maybe a cafe or something. Uh, from probably the zoo cafe stuff is most appropriate for a botanic build, I think. They tend to be pretty nice, don't they? 
Okay, we can have this here. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to a bit of zoo tileage here, actually. And we can get it on a fence for with the prop line tool. And then we'll just use move it to position the rest of the decals. Grab all these boys here. Position them so it's kind of flush with the texture that comes with the asset. And then we'll just duplicate them to create a bit of a um, garden area. Uh, not yable. Let's go for table. That's what we do want. And it's these little numbers, isn't it, on the zoo stuff? Yeah. And we'll just have little tables out here. And some wild hedging to help differentiate between the border of the tiles and the grass would be nice. Not a two meter fill. Uh, and down here. Just sort of have that there. And that should help the entrance of the uh, sea life enclosure a bit. Are we a fan of it? Are we a fan of the sea life enclosure? I think I can get away with it. I imagine there will be anti sea life enclosure police, but we'll have to bear with it. I didn't want to bring the tiles over the pathway here, though, that is. That's an error. Let's correct that. Get rid of those. There we go. And we need a little bit of concrete service paint there, do we? Yes, we do. Cool. Is there many homeless in Sydney? I have no idea. I assume there would be, as with most major cities have a problem with homeless people, don't they? I think there's a city that doesn't have them. Of course, there will be in CS2 as well. It's a good thing, actually, I haven't noticed any homeless um, playing CS2. Yeah, I haven't really seen them yet. I guess maybe they come with as the city gets a little larger now. There's some little long grass clusters in here, and maybe just a little bit of overgrowth on the bottom there. Okay. I'd love to have, you know, um, that's become like my favourite bit of detailing in each of these little... No, what, what would you call this? An exhibition? Is that, is that what it'd be? Like, an exhibit? I have no idea. But yeah, just in each of them to have like a little information board that just explains what it is you're looking at. I think that'd be pretty neat, wouldn't it? And that one's got one. This one, this one needs one. Maybe we'll have one there. And then one over here as well. That's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I wanted to have a look at what Malay said and see if there's anything in the wonderful world of sub buildings that might go well here. Um, can we search for park? Ooh, the amphitheatre might be cool to have on the waterfront. You know, oh, I've got a baseball park. I definitely don't want that here. And then that's all stuff from. Effects vehicles parking, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the amphitheater. Surely it has to. What does it say in it? Where, where would this be positioned? Do we want this facing so you're sat in the amphitheater looking to the skyline enjoying the show? Which the show is currently someone's oil painting of a random skyline, it looks like. This is plant. <laughs> yeah, that'll be by its place to be. Uh, there is a Chinese temple complex you can bob. Um, yeah, that might go well here, so that's actually the Chinese stuff might be good. Yeah, it might be. Uh, the homeless people come when the city's big and you give in to the temptation of full blown capitalism. That'll be the one, though, miss. I was thinking Amphitheater 2. Great minds, Mali. Um, 
I mean, it needs to be bobbed, doesn't it? Let's let's bob it first, and we'll see what's going to happen. Let's get rid of all the alders. They're ridiculous. The bushes might as well go as well. We'll detail it ourselves. Let's remove... Move this out of the way. Let's get rid of these path networks in a minute, and we'll decide exactly how this is going to fit in. I don't know, we can either have the amphitheater facing the bridge or facing the city. I think facing the city is the most appropriate, isn't it? And it'd look kind of coolest over here, I think. Just delete that for right now. We will come back to bringing those pathways in, but we'll let this... Okay, so it's got a pretty wide collision mesh on it, so we can't have it too close to the water. And do these path nodes, do they snap? They do. If they snap, then they should also network multi-unlock. Ooh, <laughs> we are really arsing about here now. We are network multi-tooling, a sub-building. Because we'll draw in um, propless paths. So then we can make it look like it's all a part of the um, asset here. So let's go for... Um, that on there. Turn Anarchy back on. Okay, that should be okay. Lock all these segments back in. Cool, now the whole thing deletes itself. Facing the bridge, I would like it facing the bridge, but I think... Oh, one of those segments hasn't been locked there, has it? No. Which one are you? Lock that segment, was that the one that was unlocked? No, there's others still unlocked as well. No, they're all locked. I don't know why it's not doing that then. Okay, but I think that's about as far as we can take it anyway. And now we have the Pathways Network Multi-Tooled on. It should just be pretty simple case of hooking it in with existing path infrastructure. So it becomes part of the park itself. Have that one go out there. We'll bring these pathways out. And then can we have a pathway run around the side of it? Ideally about here. Let's see if we can give it a bit of a border. It's a very naked asset on its own, isn't it? I'm going to need a little bit of loving to get it to where we need it to be. Come down and not do that. And behind it, get a road guideline if we can. Mm, and again, I guess you do connect straight in. Just need to node control that one, don't we? To square it off a little bit. Even stretch that out a little bit too. And then we need to redraw this connection in as well. And then we'll use node controller to square this one. And then I want to shift that red node out a little bit. There we go. And then a little bit of service painter in and around where the amphitheater will sit. Remove the um, paint of that. Touch it back up so it's not spilling over. Is that is that is that okay? Are we happy with the introduction of an amphitheater there in the park? Does it look organic? Thank you for all 221 of you here as well, guys, hanging out on the stream. Appreciate you all. Is that okay? Not too bad, is it? I think I'm on board with it. I think I'd love a little um, information booth here, actually, from Part Life. To uh, act as a bit of a ticket office or something. Will you fit in that way? Oh, yes, just about. If it fits, it sits, right? 
That's what it is. Of course, it's another asset that's only going to draw people in as well. Force them into my botanic garden. I think the nighttime view is going to be the cellar, isn't it? Oh, it's got no lights on it. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, it has to have a light on it at night time. We got to change that. Uh, let's get some after dark lights. Um, well, they will snap. Can I snap it to these little lights up here? How much of a fuck about is this going to be? Yeah, there we go. I want to snap them to these metal bars. And then maybe a few colored lights at the um on the stage, maybe like behind the stage that kind of like have a kind of an LED pro game a bat light to it. Is that what we like? Yeah. Do we like the lights on it or not? Take, take the lights off. I guess the birds are illuminated at night, aren't they? I think it'd be, it'd be fine. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a little posture check and hydration break while we're here. And hopefully it'll be, all be okay. We like what's lovely, looks good, looks great, good. Everyone's on board with that one. That's nice, isn't it? Teddy's here, Teddy is here. He is indeed. Uh, maybe a closed off backstage area. Yeah, we can do a backstage. That'd be that'd be easy. Get it in here. For sure, that'd be a good shout. Uh, maybe a small building where artists can change clothes. Yeah, we'll put that in the backstage. We can do that, yeah, no problem. Uh, they are bright, but it does need some light. Um, Maybe... One less. Is that what we need to do? It's quite bright there, isn't it? We deleted the outer two. Does that tone it down a little bit? Got a crocodile on the stage. <laughs> yeah, the crocodile. I was like accidentally wandered on in the middle of a show and people think it's part of the act. All the actors are like terrified, like, oh my god, there's a crocodile on the stage, and the, and the audience are like, this is fantastic. <laughs> what a show. Um, can we, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do the coven here then. And then we'll do a backstage area. So, of course, Mitch and Jerry, who Mitch needs to be elevated because he is sinking into the wood. There we go. So, Mitch has been called, and he's obviously took Jerry with him. Um, I don't have any other sim props, do I? I'm massively unprepared for doing person detailing. Um, what do we have? I guess we could just do another Mitch. <laughs> for the for the time being, I guess it makes the fun the the coven the coven slightly funnier if Mitch is the only person in the audience. Uh, can we bring him up? He's actually sat on the um. Sat on the steps. Okay. Can we have that? I'm off, folks. Have a great weekend. Fan of this area. Cheers, mate. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Enjoy your weekend, buddy. Enjoy your weekend. We <laughs> we will be happy with that. Love your city skills, over Charles Dale. Thank you, Bandman. Appreciate the kind words, mate. There should be spotlights in the game. Um, there is. If you have the After Dark DLC, you can search for them. Yeah. How about a kangaroo? I don't have my animals turned on. Should we go turn the animals on? We'd have to load in and out. I don't want to lose viewers there. I'll have been live for now. Hour and twenty-four. I feel like it, it needs a bit more sustenance to it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so the whole audience is like, that's so good. Look at that crocodile over there. Whereas Mitch and Jerry are like, bloody hell, mate. That's an actual bloody crocodile. And the whole audience isn't sold on it. Cool. <laughs> it looks like something that Shakespeare forgot to write, wasn't it? Two horses and a crocodile. Three policemen. 
Uh, right, closed off backstage area. 100%. Let's have a little bit of concrete knocking around here, shall we? Uh, let's push this up. And like, knock to the key. We'll have a bit of fence in there. Uh, can we do the brush? There we go. Make a little bit of a concrete plaza at the back. Is there any playwrights in the live chat right now? What sort of things can we expect to find behind backstage of an amphitheater? I imagine they'd have some containers here, right, for moving props around. Not particularly want massive shipping containers though. Do we have anything a bit more discreet? Maybe the vanilla ones are better, right? Uh, let's have a couple of rows of these. We'll sit on a prop line tool actually with a little 90 degree rotation. Are you, are you okay, prop line tool? No. It's because you're on linear fence, Phil, isn't it? That's why. Or not. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because I had fence field turned on, wasn't it, idiot? Okay. We'll have some shipping containers. Uh, do I have any trailers that might represent... Yeah. Hmm. We might have to Rico an asset into a dummy in order to get a trailer in there. Now, I think this little office asset might be most appropriate. It's not like I'm ever going to use this as an office anyway. So we'll essentially just turn it into a prop. Um, let's ask Rico to turn this into a dummy. Which just makes it a non-existent building now. And we can have this as a bit of a, a backstage number. Like a poor man's procedural objects, isn't it? We'll have this here. An RV prop. Do I have RVs? I'm not even sure what I have. I've got an actual van. I don't think I have an RV though. I do have an RV subscribed, I just need to go turn it on in Thessia's uh, Sky profile. Because we had one for um, Ilos. I guess we can get away with a couple of vans though, right? Another couple of vans parked here. Have a... Put them parked up over here, maybe. Maybe one over this way. And then... Maybe one of these trucks that's dropped off a couple of boxes for a new show. We will... Get some boxes. Slash crates available. I uh, said so we can get Mitch in here as well. One fact about Mitch, alongside being Thessia's most corrupt police officer, he's also into amateur dramatics. Which, <laughs> which, is, which is nice, but not something I expected to be doing today, but this is the fun bit with the covens, isn't it? So Mitch is just unloading some crates for the next show. Okay, um, I love a bit of fence in here. Can we get some chain link in? I feel like a chain link fence would be ideal here. Yeah, stick this on a on the old fence fill. Uh, good night, Wacker. Thank you for hanging out in the stream, mate. I appreciate your time. You uh, you sleep well. Okay, and then cool. I'll we'll have that there. Sort of works for going. Around the corner and then bring it down this side as well. Now we should have some um, chain link fence gates as well that we can use as some rudimentary backstage access, I guess. Have this fenced off as well. Cool. But isn't it funny how just finding one? One little sub-building <laughs> leads to an entire build. We're going to have to name this um, after Malay. It was Malay's shout to get the sub-buildings from the parking, wasn't it? 
Maybe um, King of Mashed Potatoes Theatre or something like that. Is there, is there a famous theatre that we can make a pun out of? I'm, I'm really not into... Well, theatre, I guess, isn't it? How much of dramatics is it? It's not my cup of tea. You won't ever find me at the West End, etc. Okay. Let's um, get a bit of decalage on there as well. That concrete's looking a little bit clean, isn't it? Just some scruffs and mark. Oh, scruffs and marks go a very long way. And helping these areas sit a little bit nicer, I think. Another thing I am interested in, actually, in the run up to CS2, is how many of you are planning on still consuming uh, CS1 content after CS2 drops. We might do a poll for that, actually. Uh, my series are carrying on, by the way. don't think this is some kind of customer feedback session. I am just wondering as to how many of you are planning on still watching CS1 content. We might do a poll for that, actually. Is that an appropriate backstage area? Does it work? Like I said, I've never been backstage. The Royal Potato Hall. Is that what you want, Mallow? You can, you can name this Mallow if you want. This was your find with the, the, the amphitheater. I can name it if you, <laughs> you, can name it if you want. <laughs> that bloody, that's such a funny coven. Okay. Not to yeah, let's do, let's do that poll, though. Because uh, I'd be keen to... No, just from the 221 people we've got. Um, will you still watch CS1 content on the release of CS2? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, so we can go for Royal Potato Hall if you want, Molly. Just let me know. I think that's pretty cute though. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Don't mind that at all. And people walking around it as well. We could put in an, um, like an event marker as well here, couldn't we? For people hanging out. Uh, can I click on the building? Yeah, okay, we can build this in. So, what, the Royal Potato Hall, Mali, is that what you want? Absolutely. Great idea, mate. Thank you for that, Mally. I would have never have stumbled upon the um, amphitheatre without a shout for a sub-building. Uh, cool. So, now let's return to <laughs> the Botanical Garden before we got massively distracted with um, amphitheatres. Uh, what, what, what can we put here? I, f I feel like I want a, a key asset. Do we want to return to the world of sub-buildings? Is there anything that might work here? Again, there's just there's so bloody many of them, isn't there? It could be here forever. Mm. I feel like it wants a statue or something. Do we do we do have any statues? There's the the unique plazas. A lighthouse? Do you want a lighthouse here? The only lighthouse we have though is the vanilla one, and it's a bit I don't know, it's a bit knackered, isn't it? It's like falling apart. Do you guys want do you guys want the, the lighthouse here? I mean I'm always happy to let you guys lean into the streams, but it's a bit decrepit, is it not? Yeah. Welcome back, Exe. Nice to have you here, mate. Teddy's on board with the lighthouse as well. Chinese temple complex is a bit narrow for the Chinese temple complex here, Salesh, but maybe further deeper in the park we can. We do Slash's temple idea. Um where are they even saved now, those bloody assets? Um Pills of the East, isn't it? Let me just search for temple. It'll come up, won't it? Or, could do one of the Japanese temples. That would be a little bit more appropriate on the edge. Otherwise, the, the thick one. Oh, I don't know. That does look quite good, though. Can we place this on the road? And, we won't have to see that. We're just going to have to see what it looks like. Let's, um, 
Let's drag this one. I know it's going to look horrific right now, just forced in, but we'll see how much work is needed to accommodate this asset. We will also have to bring a road connection in here somehow as well. Probably part life pathways as roads, I imagine. That would be Selesh's idea. To have the temple on the peninsula. How do we feel about that, everyone? Please let your thoughts and feelings be known in the live chat. How about a park? Well, the whole thing is a park, technically, as I uh, Found me some airport. Let's continue watching. Good morning, Egg. Welcome in, James. Nice to see you, buddy. How are you? That's some kind of pillar statue might work better. Not using, like, road pillars, Teddy. You could do that. Japanese temple much better than Lighthouse. We could use the Japanese temple as well. Yeah, the Japanese temple's a lot less dominant, I guess. Have a look, look at that one. Let's get rid of this. It also requires significantly less work to get this accommodated as well, this little Japanese temple. I think we've got that with a few trees around it. Is that going to be okay? The lighthouse, <laughs> the lighthouse has a lot of law. It does, Fatima. The lighthouse does have law. Yeah. Hi, we first live stream I've seen at the old church asset with the lighthouse and make a park here at the end of the pier. That would look good. Thank you, Peter. Welcome to your first live stream, mate. Appreciate the suggestions. Uh, probably not a church here. Oh, then again, there was a church in the Sydney thing, wasn't there? Kind of an older building. I don't know. I think I prefer one of the exotic temples, though. A bunch of rocks, like a rock garden. Yeah, make like a little cute garden on the way up to it. I think that's what we'll go for. Yeah, okay. We'll do the Japanese temple then. Um, I do have the part life path as roads installed, don't I? Please tell me I do. Oh, they're not there if they're not. Um, park pathways road. Yes, we do. Absolutely outstanding. Wonderful. Okay. So, yes. We can actually have this in. Although how we're going to hook it in, I don't know. I don't want to reco it into a dummy because I do want people to walk up to it. So we're going to have to find a way to get the part life path as road in here. Is it possible we squeeze in a road there behind the backstage? I think it is. We'll adjust the backstage detail to accommodate it, but we'll let the road take priority here. So, coming out of here, we'll blend this entrance into the park as well. I'm not just going to let it force its way through here as well. Welcome to stream as well, Governor. Thank you so much for turning up, lovely. Hope you're well. Nice to see you in E6 back in here again. Hope you're both doing okay. Let's get a little refund number on the way here as well. Okay, and let's delete that so it doesn't behave stupidly. Let's delete this pathway now as well, and we'll have the part life pathways road hold the build, or the building rather. We have to be careful here now as well with landscape and whatnot behaving itself because these aren't pathways anymore. Uh, let's use move its marquee to select a node of this and then grab it all and please come down to the same height as our pathway nodes over here and same with the building as well same height as the segment please okay so that does give it a connection that's excellent news uh, although we're going to have to now grab all of our props here and our trees as well because we'll take those bushes with us and just move you all back a little bit just about there I should do it and then we just want to finagle all these nodes into position so it looks somewhat better we have to do quite a lot of reconfiguring actually around all that prop work now it's been moved. But well, there's a problem for future rag, I think. Just do it while we're here. Otherwise, I will forget. 
And then the VOD comments are going to be, Egg, you didn't fix the fence in the backstage. No. There we go. Is that at least looking alright? I think so. Still looks alright, doesn't it? Apart from, <laughs> apart from the, the floating vans. Let's uh, get those back down to earth. Same with all these as well. And back down to... Yeah, uh, right, please. Okay. One thing we do want to do, actually, before we forget, is to ban the traffic on this road. We don't want cars driving into the park, so uh, I guess just it's a unique building, isn't it? So it doesn't need goods delivery. We'll let emergency services come down here, and we'll reconfigure the entrance here to accommodate that. Cool. No vehicles banned. Can we still have our little cross in here? Or is that going to be a pain now? We can. And then can we just use a vanilla pathway here with no snapping to create the key connection? Tremendous. And can I get a cross in here? I'll turn it into a bend or people will cross, won't they? I can't turn it into a crossing on a part life path as road. Those lights on the road path turn on there, they should do, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't played with part life paths as road before, they're um they're really good. They actually repurpose a lot of cool assets like this. So I'd also like the pathway that we had originally to come back up and hook in with the road there. Okay. And then I think if we kind of dirtied up the whole land around the temple now, we can create kind of a, a classic Japanese rock garden around it. That's going to look rather special, isn't it? Why don't we see if we can accommodate this? Took that away. And I need to grab a dirt brush at some point off the workshop. So, quintessential Japanese flowers. Jacarandas are Japanese, aren't they? I think. I'm sure they are. Or at least cherry blossom is maybe. So let's go for we'll do three jacarandas every side. Oh, let me turn off that feature in Bob because that's going to do my head in. Disable the vanilla tree rail placement because the key is trying to upgrade the key with bloody jacaranda trees. Incredibly irritating. <laughs> uh, so let's do some rocks here. And we'll keep these going along this way. And oh, can I drag you any further up, Zoo Path? Can I sink you down further so you don't have that texture tearing, and then unpaint that surface there. I think that's the best I'm going to get it, isn't it? I think so. Floating crates. That's <laughs> part of the magic show. Magic put on by the crocodile. I'm happy to integrate into the city lore that there's some kind of Oracle-esque crocodile that controls perhaps the economics of Thessia. Yeah, I think we'll line the entire key with these cute little rocks. And you know it would be good as well? If we can get a nature reserve pathway, because they've got those kind of nice little wooden sticks, don't they? These little things, pegs, I guess. That will actually allow people to move back and to from the quay to the road. Which would be incredibly cool if we can get those to work. So we'll wait and see. We'll also have a hydration break here in a second because I am starting to dive thirst. So we'll get these rocks over here. 
Cool. We'll get more plants around this as well. Oh, I need that jacaranda to be the same size <laughs> on the right and the left. That's going to do my head in. All right, let's go ahead and click our live chat over. Uh, not live chat, sorry. Um, oh, do you not illuminate at night? Oh, actually, I remember, didn't we do this in Ilos, actually? I'm pretty sure we used this, didn't we, in uh, one of the mile grid parks? And we had to put our own light on it because we were really disappointed that it didn't light up at night time. What's the most Japanese colour? I guess it's red, isn't it? Red and white. Red's a bit, I don't know. The Amsterdam, isn't that? At night time? Or do we want to put them on the floor, illuminating the actual pergola itself? Is probably a better shot, isn't it? Uh, which way do you go? You're so bright in the day, I can't see anything. Yeah, actually have them like here, so it illuminates the whole building. Is that is that better? But that's a little bit better, isn't it? Are we happy with that? You can reset trees. Oh, with move it cannot scope. Okay, I'll do that. Mm. Yes, Eggsy as well. Post a link to Instant Gaming if you are missing it, guys. Um, we're missing any DLC. Instant Gaming does help support the channel. You get a load of codes for super cheap as well. Uh, and then the governor. Uh, post our Discord as well. Yeah, please do come and join us in Discord if you're not there. It's always nice to talk to you guys in the Discord. And you get to see me set my status to play in City Skylines 2 later on. <laughs> because I'm sorry to do that. I've been waiting to do that for ages. I was like, as soon as I get Cities 2, it's immediately going on the Discord status. Yeah. Anyway, let's stretch. Posture check as well, please, everyone. Let's stretch out a little bit. Oh, man, my posture is terrible. Oh, goodness me. Egg, we still do at times Cities 1 Let's Plays. Yes, Grizzly. We will. I think City Skylines 1 is going to be one of those games that's always played on YouTube, like The Sims, RuneScape, you know, games that are years old, but content always gets made for them. I think CS1 will probably fall into that genre. Uh, can the lights on the building be coloured? Um, I'd happy to have a, a red light in here. I think my were honouring the Japanese in the community. Why don't we go for red light as well? Which actually turns more orange as you play, isn't it? So it's a pretty cool centrepiece to have in the park though, isn't it? Over here. I think we can get on board with that. Oh, there you go. Now someone's finally walking down to it as well. A little girl. You gonna go onto it? Amazing. How cool. Look at that. That's so amazing. Eggy tears. You know me now, Bad Wolf. You know me now. I do enjoy your tears. Uh, can we do reset? Oh, Scope is a legend, isn't he? I did not know that Scope. Thank you, mate. Uh, okay, so let's continue to decorate this little garden here. Um, Lots of cutesy little bushes and Mini rocks, I imagine, would be welcome. Maybe not, not, not shrub clusters. I want to keep it quite, quite tame, mi minimalistic, almost. Uh, yeah, this is all perfect. This has been a very cool part, build, by the way. Thank you for hanging out on this one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, should we get some of those Chinese wind palms in here as well? No, this is a Japanese garden, but it's at least Far East Asian flora, I guess. Cool. Egg is the tease. <laughs> yes, I am, Star. Yes, I am. Oh, there you go. Is that that same little girl that came out? It must be a very cathartic experience in there, mustn't it? She went in as a eight-year-old and came out as an eighteen-year-old. Okay. What this guy's gonna do? 
I bet she's hoping to kind of do like a Benjamin Button, isn't she? And she's going to come out younger in a second. Uh, bamboo as well, of course. How on earth are we forgetting about the bamboo? Definitely get some of this in. Uh, can you show the build quickly if it was caught up late? Absolutely can, Clay. Yes, we can. We're going to have a little recap. But we're not even rem remotely done here either. There's still big chunks of this left that need doing. Um, so we're working with this headland park um, from yesterday's marina. Got a bit of parking at the front. We've got a botanical garden entrance, which is now getting loads of use. People spilling out the back. Uh, and lots of botanic garden detailing inspired by the one in Sydney. Very nice. Got a sea life enclosure here. More plants and props, little in bits of information of what it is exactly you're looking at around the um and the park we have a very cool reveal of the Teddy's Bridge as we come past the Boab tree here. Like that. That's, that's such a cool view. <laughs> a great shout on that Boab tree. I'm sorry I missed the person that shouted out the Boab. It's, um, it's definitely worth it. Although it's not even remotely central in that roundabout though, is it? Let's move that over there. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Uh, can we have a redwood? You know what, Exe? We can. Because I guess in Australia, redwoods are exotic, aren't they? So I guess they might be in a botanic garden. Is my excuse for using one of the worst trees in the game. Actually, no, it's not. It's not one of the worst trees in the game. It's just, it only works in the boreal setting, I think. That also doesn't look too bad, Eggsy, you know? I'm actually quite, I actually quite like that. Um, and then should we do the little... Uh, ring around it again so it mirrors the Australian hardwood on the opposite side of the, the park. Very cool, thank you for doing that. Looks great so far. Thank you, Clay, and welcome into the stream, buddy. That's nice to see you. Yeah. I imagine we're going to have some anti-redwood people. But I think it'll be worth that pain to have it come in. Uh, we still do CS1 live streams and CS2 comes out. I'm not sure about live streams, Fatima. Um... Entirely, you know, it entirely depends on what you guys watch, because I could do whatever I want on the channel, which would probably be Project Zomboid Let's Plays, but you guys won't watch them. So it has to be a trade-off between content I enjoy making and content that you guys will watch, because if I, I can enjoy making it, but if it doesn't get any views, then I can't put it on the channel. So if you guys will still watch CS1 live streams, then I will still stream CS1. That's all how, how it will work. Yeah, love the baby redwoods you get on the road. Yeah, they're quite cute, aren't they, when the baby redwoods. There was a huge redwood forest in New Zealand. Well, there you go. What 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 do I know? Had to leave now. Had a great day, everyone. Always fun to hang out with you all. Thanks for the stream away. Thank you for hanging out, Marco. You enjoy your weekend, buddy. Stay safe. Thank you for watching the stream. I'm egg, I'm down for PZ. I know you are, Bad Wolf. I have not seen you off Planet Zoo <laughs> since that. Since that. Uh, not Planet Zoo, sorry. Project Zomboid. Since that uh, video we did. I actually, I tagged you in the um, the patrons chat the other day for some base spoilers and got ghosted. So uh, I assume it's having such a wonderful time. But yeah, I would like to do a, a Project Onboard stream at one point, maybe. Because it's always difficult, you know, when like you're so ingrained in a style of content like I am with Cities, it can be very hard to shift over to a new game. Not that it's going to replace Cities or anything, but I would love to cover Project Onboard. It's incredibly fun. Okay. I think that's pretty cute, right? Uh, what about a silver birch? Uh, absolutely, Alan. Yeah. You got a little silver birch garden here. I can do that if you like. Although, I have just noticed I'm using my prop paths again. Here, oh, look at that. They're walking through the backstage. That's so cute. Look at that. I do like that. Oh yes, and look, they're actually walking through the Japanese garden as well. How cute is that? <laughs> That's so nice. I'll get a screenshot of that. Thank you very much. Amazing. Uh, right, yeah. Little silver birch enclosure. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, we need to kind of round off the botanical things here anyway in a second. Because yeah, we're edging to the edge of the headland, which is where uh, the build will end. Uh, then again, I guess we can still do some botanical stuff around here, can't we? Around the entrance to the museum. 
or the the entrance to the park rather not museum uh, how's that poll doing okay 89 percent of you will still watch cs1 content interesting it's actually lower than i thought it would be i thought that'd be more than that interesting uh yeah just so it's picking that up it's all dirt isn't it it's all fine uh, okay, yeah, let's get some silver birches in. Oh, Bad Wolf with a five Australian dollar super chat. Uh, sorry, I ghosted you. <laughs> I did not get a notification. It's all right, Bad Wolf. Don't worry about it. You don't need to apologize. But um, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I tagged you in the um, the Patreons hangout in the Discord. I was like, can we, have, can we see your base? And just tumbleweed went past me. Where's the bloody silver birch? We're going to find it. Um, that's not it, is it? That's not the vanilla silver birch, is it? Oh, that's a custom one. Why does Thessia not have the silver birch tree? It's in the tall vanilla section, isn't it? Am I blind? Oh, I bet it doesn't appear on this theme, does it? I bet, yeah, no, it's the theme. The theme will be stopping it, idiot. Yeah, okay. Well, thankfully, we have a custom silver birch off of the workshop, so we can still do it. Um, so there's some trees in pretty rigid lines, wasn't there, in that uh, park in um, Sydney? So let's do this with the silver birches here. And then we get some rocks and bushes around them. That's quite nice. And then we'll grab some wild hedge. Actually, no, we'll do some more rock boundaries around here. We'll leave the wild hedge boundaries for the taller trees. There we go. And then, yeah, let's get this going. All the way around here. This is a very... Therapeutic fun build to go through by the way if you're looking to fill a bit of waterfront space in your city I'd highly recommend a little mini botanic garden like this Lots of fun being created with the part life props as well Hmm mm. Harry's House is a third album of Harry Styles made from label by Columbia Records. How do you feel, Harry? Are you talking to Harry? Right? <laughs> no, I have no idea. I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. That's a pretty nice one, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's see if we can give this gazebo a little more tension. Is there any more actual part life buildings we're missing out on here? Anything from nature reserve and possibly neglecting? Like the nature reserve museum would probably go quite nicely in here actually wouldn't it? Um, no. It's just gazebos or nothing else really, isn't it? We're actually attracting people into the park. There you go, let's do that. Then we'll have a larger tree in between them. Get this one in. One there. And then one there. Yeah, looking a little nicer, isn't it? Uh, how about a costume playground for children created with tree stumps and maybe a hanging bridge between trees? I'm not sure how we do the hanging bridge, Tom, but I'm definitely on board for some that kind of children's facility out here. Um, yeah, we can make a little park actually, like the one we made in Orchid Bay, couldn't we? Probably go quite nicely here. Uh, we'll lob the old faithful of a children's playground in because these things always always work. This one have got white like, exotic trees on there as well. Gonna help my calls a little bit. Make sure nothing's clipping and we're all okay there. Mm. 
Um, and then we'll dive into the world of plant life props and let's expand this out to go for the little one here. And we'll have to maybe put up a little bit of an extension of that chain link fence around this one to stop the children sprinting into the ocean. Imagine we're going to get some comments from the parents in the chat about that one. And we will avoid it where possible. Uh, let's get a swing set as well, actually, from the Find It props. Um... Parks up as well, isn't it? We've also got these big colourful numbers we used in the um, in the city. Although it doesn't really suit the botanical garden here, does it? We also have Terry's flag for the petrochemicals as well. We can make it so the botanical garden is sponsored by an oil company. Uh, right, let me turn off custom here. There's too many in custom. Want my vanilla swings, please. There we go. I have a couple in here. And then a couple of little sand pits in here too. For general children's recreation. And yeah, a little dog park water fountain. Why not? I'll have a couple of these. Cool. It's going to be hot in this year, right? Okay, and the zoo asset with the creepy Tasman Hell inside. That's, that's a good shout out to Jody. Which one was that? Is the Tarpeer house, was it? Is that what it was called? A horrific animal, isn't it? That looks like it's taken something. Or seen the end of the world. <laughs> it's just absolutely tripping balls, isn't it? Where is it? Yeah, there you go. It's things like I've seen some things, man. <laughs> it's absolutely. Oh, that's creepy as hell the way it tips its head around the branch. I hadn't seen it do that before. It's just. It's like the, the polygonal body with those acid eyes. I'd, ha I'd happily have this in here. Um, we can probably get this in over here, actually. Just spin it around, and then we'll kind of use this as a a nice edge toward the end of the park. Yeah, is there two of them, or just the one? Hopefully it's just the one. There's the other one. The fact they don't move as well, like they're here all the time, you know. He looks like he's had a three week long weekend. <laughs> yes, he does, good doesn't he? He absolutely does. Been hitting the clubs. Oh, it's the, it's the, the, the tilt of the head is traumatic, isn't it? You have given us nightmares for weeks now. You have to blame Jody for that one. That was Jody's idea. <laughs> that wasn't mine. Cool. Um, so let's have a little look at some of the inner spaces around the park here now that I've developed uh, while we've placed our set. So let's do um, a little bit of concrete in here. And we can expand out that space near the ticket office. I do it would be good there actually. I just had a little idea. If that is the ticket office, we'll do like the um, like the barrier gates you get when you go to like a festival or a concert or something just to help keep the queues organised. I reckon we can do something like that. Let's do some of these as well. Um, cabbage trees. These are pretty exotic, right? Cabbages don't come out of these, do they? I'm pretty sure cabbages come out of the ground, but I am dying myself now. Um. So what do we want to search for? A barrier? Yes, literally exactly that. Crowd control barrier is exactly what I was looking for. Um. So... Yeah, that's pretty perfect. So you can queue up for a ticket here. And even though she just walks wherever she wants anyway. Rude. And then we'll kind of set it up going out of this way. So... There you go, come out this way. And then we'll just have this. 
fill up this concrete space. Can we go for prop line tool now? Yep, do that. And bring it down here by one. Cross by three and then down by one is the pattern we'll stick to. Cool, and then it can start here. If anyone wants to come in. And then we'll just grab the props with move it. And then just mimic them either side, although we don't want to go all the way to the top of course because that will create a choke point. So we'll grab that one. A bit easier to do this manually actually rather than prop line tool. We'll also divide this one up as well so it splits them into two cues there. Right, same with this one, how it go that way. And then into the building. You can be directed into there to get their tickets for Malay's Royal Potato Hall showing. Is that okay? Does that look like a crowd control barrier? Oh, it does. There was that little concrete space out anyway, doesn't it? They grow in trees like potatoes do. No, they don't exist. I'm not buying that one again. That's a surface painter limit all over again. <laughs> not buying that. Uh, Egg, can you please pop some up lights behind the buildings at the foot of the keys in the main harbour area so we can see the land keys at night? Uh, behind the buildings at the foot of the keys in the main harbour. Um, yes, we can. I think I know what you mean. Um, let me search for a light. Yeah, I think I know. You mean these ones at night? Like this? Um, yeah, I'd happily have some lights here. Actually, let's um, let's synchronize them with the lights that are on the keys. I'm assuming this is what you mean. Delete that one there. Put them on the back. Like that? Is that what you wanted? It's nice. Actually, I like being able to see the key because it's pretty dark otherwise, isn't it? There you go. Right. Wonderful. Cool. So let's do some more botanical tree designs uh, around the entrance here. We need to format this whole design now. Uh, this new entrance has come in. So let's square everyone off. And how wide can we go here? We do a bit of IMT here, actually. Uh, they're quite fairly spaced apart on these roads, aren't we? So let's increase the spacing. Uh, and then we'll do... Yeah. Crack some holes in the lines. Um, I'd love to get a bit of text if possible to just direct people towards the royal potato hall. Uh, let's do a 180 angle rotation. We need to significantly reduce the size of this as well. No, all my text freaks out when, <laughs> when that happens. Uh, and then we'll bring it up the line a little bit as well. Just so there's directions sending people in here. Okay. Are there any cacti in Australia? No idea, Scope. Maybe in the outback, maybe? I don't know. We should have some Australians here. Uh, tea Addict and Bad Wolf are still knocking about, I think. Um, right, let's shift into the middle. Can we... Do this as well. Let's um, also crack it up a little bit too. Use the scale a bit more. It's still quite big, isn't it? And then we can bring it on the offset. 
Something like that. And then we'll grab an arrow decal and then just say that it's this way. So people know where to head if they're here for a show rather than the botanic garden. You can head down to the <laughs> the royal the royal potato hall. Cool. Right, let's do another little botanic enclosure here. But yeah, people are bleeding off that pathway now, aren't they? Onto the um the road, which is cool. Cool. I don't mind that. Uh, so let's actually reform out the fence first of all, just to see how much room we have to play with, because we have deleted the entry fence here, haven't we? Let's have that go up to there, and then we'll copy and paste those trees. I'd also like it if this actually remains separate from that, the rest of the road. Yeah. Can we get another gate there? I'd ideally like to have there. The botanical garden separate from the rest of the area. Mm. These are a bit industrial. Oh, this would be nice though, wouldn't it? The little bamboo fence gate. Can we have that here? A little bit narrow, but it just about works, doesn't it? Do we have a few of these along the pathway, actually? Something like that. I absolutely love this Japanese temple on the, on the peninsula. Delicious. Uh, we don't have cacti, we have shrubbery. There you go, Scope. There's your answer. Uh, right. Yeah, none of my prop gates are really selling me on it. In which case, we're just going to ignore it then. Because otherwise, I'll just be forcing an asset that doesn't really work there. I could do with having like a selection of gates for the vanilla fences, would be tremendously helpful at times. Now, do we want to allow people to move? around the building like that. I think I do. Let's service paint this area up again with some dirt. So we know it's a... I keep saying enclosure, but that's not the right word, is it? Exhibit, I think we decided on, was it? There we go. More concrete here, actually. I've got some bushes to hide up the service painter discrepancies. Should be okay. Uh, and then we need to decide on a tree. Should we go back to Google Earth for a little bit? See if we can find another enclosure. Let's see what's here. We've still got the old Europeans settling in Australia and imprisoning people thing over here. Uh, what's going on here? These look pretty, pretty funky, don't they? Uh, no native catness, but plenty of prickly pear. There we go. Scrubs are just as beautiful, says Bad Wall. Uh, good fence is good. Egg that kind of gate is placed once. I don't know what you mean, Salash. But it's me egg that gate. Oh, you haven't ordered it? I like the gate. Okay, everyone like the gate then. Oh look, there is cactus here. Speak of cactus scope, look at that. An entire cactus enclosure. <laughs> just as we came just as we came back to check. So for those of you who just said there's no cactus in Australia. Would you like to explain this? Hmm? what's going on here. For your well-being, we ask you that you keep to the paths and avoid touching the plants, especially if you have children in your care. Okay. Okay. Gosh, you have to leave. It's my sister's birthday. See you in the next one. Wish your sister a happy birthday from us all, Scope. And have a good weekend, mate. Right, be safe and careful. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of um, cactus knocking about over here, isn't there? Hey, say your call F. I'm probably butchering your name, bait, but hello, welcome to the live stream. 
Uh, okay. Well, I don't have any cactus turned on on this save, so we can't even use them anyway. Um, let's see what we have available. I mean, we do have cactus subscribe. They're in Ilos's XML, but not here, unfortunately. So we'll just do another fairly random enclosure of somewhat exotic looking trees. Some of these little pink numbers in along the side. A couple of new vanilla bushes to complement too. Don't mind the occasional bamboo over here either. I feel like some sparse undergrowth underneath is always welcome just to help break up that relentless dirt texture a little bit. Uh, kind of neglected flame trees as well, actually, from Content Creator. Fairly exotic, aren't they? California palms as well. Well, the California short is because we have seen at least some southwestern desert trees knocking around. And we'll do another date palm here as well. It's not native. I didn't think it was. Bad wolf, no. Yeah. Cactus grows in Australia, just not native. Okay, okay. <laughs> Got the, the cactus police are after me now. Okay. I like that there. Graphics look nice, thank you. Good you're enjoying them. I'm actually very happy with how we got Thessia's graphics arranged in the end. It was um, a tough choice when we first got the map of Exe and Karina. I didn't know quite how I wanted things to look. Sort of what look do I go for? Like, render it is apparently all the rage now. Like, should I be using render it? And it came out nicely. I really like Thessia's like, actual visual aesthetics. Very pretty city, I think. Move that flame tree over a bit too. Cool, and that should give us another exotic enclosure as we come alongside here too. I think I'll have... Um... Mm. I feel like I need more decorative small plants in in Thessia. Got this little hedge number. We've used this a few times, haven't we? This one's quite cute, actually. Can we go for two meter fill? Yeah, there we go. Seems a bit better, doesn't it? Have this down here. Hello, Kim. Welcome into the stream. Are you using Relight like Render It? Um, everything is Render It. My uh, render it profile. I use the render it heat preset here. Uh, it's in the model list. There is no look. You have a look on the graphics options. There is no color correction active. So it's vanilla graphics with render it heat profile. And then plus my theme mix that I have. Obviously for all the textures and the water and stuff. And um, we'll keep this hedge line actually going out of the park and along the quay. Right, it carries on and then what we will do. Look at all these people. Hello. Hello people. Welcome to the uh, Botanical Garden, which still needs to be named by the way. We haven't named it yet. So I might have asked you earlier, but probably didn't see any suggestions. So please feel free to name the Botanical Garden today. Cool, yeah. And then we'll keep that going uh, until the concrete comes back in and closes out the grass again. Uh, hey Josh as well by the way, I saw Josh join earlier, it's nice to have you in a live stream for what feels like the first time in forever Josh, I hope you're doing well but if you're still here. Got a massive auto save, it's okay, <laughs> just let it pass, don't panic, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, hey Alexander, welcome to the stream as well mate. Alan is glad the flame tree is finally here. Oh, that's a big auto save. Please don't crash. I feel like we might. Let's give it, give it a bit of time. <laughs> Not to wait and see. We'll have a little live chat, chat uh, catch up here. Um, on the topic of graphics, does CS2 graphics feel well enough to not need graphic mods on the first trying it out? Um, the graphics mods that we've got, well, not mods at the minute. The graphics of CS2 are, I'd say, better than vanilla CS1. But I imagine most people come the release of mods are going to want some kind of relight or look to change the look. We had a hard crash here. I think we have, haven't we? Let's see. Let's see if she'll respond. Sometimes she does. 
Yep, yeah, that'd be a quick sip of tea. We can at least turn the animals on there. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to Skive. We'll go to Skive. And turn them on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a hard crash, isn't it? Alright. There's the program then. God, we've not had a hard crash on a live stream for a very long time, have we? If not, indeed. Um, right. So. Nice search for Sven's animals here. Yeah. yeah, okay. It's really weird that there's only a certain amount turned on. We'll turn on the various different birds. Uh, so what we'll do as well while we're here is we'll grab some cactus as well. There you go. And now we can do them in. Uh, any saguaros we can grab that we're still subscribed to? Yeah, we got a couple of those as well. Um, do I have any people props? Can't remember what they come up as. Person? No, I mustn't be subscribed to them. Uh, okay, let me save that Thessia XML then. And uh, everything else should be okay. Cool. Yeah, we got the cat time, Ali. We'll get, we'll get the, we'll get the cat test. Uh, I'm using the Seychelles map theme with Render It. Uh, Relight theme, it's combo. Spent days trying to just visual balance a tropical map. Yeah, it can take a long time to get it to where you're happy with it. Yeah, it can. Yeah, sad cry face today. So that's the first crash we've had in ages. Never have a crash in cities anymore. It better have saved as well. I don't know how much we've lost. We did have auto save on. I don't know when the last one was. Uh, when was that? 2.07. So what we've lost. 15 minutes basically. Uh, okay. Go for that one then. Uh, let's go back to Google Earth while this loads in. Let's see what we've got to play with. So, I want to head actually back because we're kind of coming to the end of the build here. So, I want to see over by Sydney. Do they have any. Is there anything here where all the keys kind of break away from the rocks? Or is it literally just. Rocks into the water. Quite a lot of rocks, actually, isn't it? And that view over to the bridge. Okay, yeah, I was thinking maybe some benches down here or something, but it is literally just quite a steep grassy slope into rocks into the river, isn't it? Or into the sea. Okay, nothing overly exciting there, then, is it? Then we do have this over here. We've got a pool. That just literally a pool that kind of overlooks all the river. I can't really put this in the botanical garden though. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is literally just a pool. That looks over warships, are they? Does Sydney dock warships here? Or I guess the Australian government, right? Not Sydney. Um, is this like a naval yard, is it? Oh yeah, look at that, I hadn't even noticed that. Huge naval shipyard right opposite the Botanic Garden. That would be an interesting build, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm not sure how many, um sort of oceanfront peninsulas we've got left to use in Asia to do something like this. This would be a build for Josh though, right? Josh would enjoy this. Some are just museums. This definitely looks like a, a working shipyard though, isn't it? This isn't like decommissioned now. We, we, won't, we won't get a street view in here, will we? No, of course not. Uh, what's going on over here? Armed patrols protect this base. But this is just a full-on naval base, is it? Garden Island Defence Precinct. Okay. 
very cool idea for a build though, isn't it? I don't know where we'd get that in in Dacia, to be honest. But we can certainly consider future projects. We have finally loaded back in. Uh, right. Is Dacia loaded? You okay to play? Please don't be too upset. Uh, what did we lose? Just my IMT in this enclosure. Well, that's fine because we now have um, the cactus turned on, don't we? So we can honor that enclosure that we saw in, didn't it? Which is great. Cool. So let's just re reform right here. Sorry for the crash, everyone. It's very rare we experience a crash on the live streams, but you know what modded cities is like at the best of times. So do appreciate you bearing with me. Uh, right, let's do this one again. Increase our spacing. Let's get the graphical void on as well. Uh, oh, Michael with a 20 uh, US doll super chat. Um, did you get a sense of walkability in CS2 or will little grannies no longer walk 50 miles to a cup of coffee? I'm guessing that might factor in for too much discomfort for Pathfinder mechanic. Um, it seems... I guess this is a critique of the game, but let me just reread that NDA thing again. Um, you can share excitement, concerns, and or dismay about the sequel, but please keep critiques limited. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can't talk about it. Um, CS2 feels a lot quieter, if you know what I mean. So, like, you don't see that. I mean, I'm, I've only made a city that's like 3,000 people yet, so I'm sure it's going to change. But it just feels a lot quieter. There's not as many cars on the roads, not as many sims walking around. But, you know, I am playing an old beta build of the game. So that could change by the time you guys get a hold of it in September, in October. So take that with a pinch of salt, if you like. But because of that, the walkability doesn't particularly feel like it's there yet. But you never know. It might be at some point. Lofi Candy, welcome to the stream. Gorgonzola as well. Uh, those are the two new ambiguous landing ship helicopter carriers the Australian government brought in France. They were outfitted and finally assembled there. Well, there you go, Gorgonzola. That is a fun Australia fact of the day, isn't it? Thank you for clarifying, mate. Uh, right, let's move Royal Potato Hall back up. Give me a second. <laughs> just gonna give, me, give me a second to anyone just joining the live stream. Um, this is something that happened earlier. We're not just randomly drawing this on the road. There we go. And then we had a little arrow up here as well, didn't we? And a little road arrow. There we go. Cool. Yes, we have a little botanic garden in there, which is very cool, isn't it? We didn't lose the playground deeds, did we? No. Okay. Right. Let's now carry on where we left off. So, good job we had auto save on, wasn't it? Could you imagine if we just lost that entire stream? I would have immediately turned off my PC and gone to the pub. So, let's do this now. Let's move our fencing back up. We also had pathways wrapped around the building as well, didn't we? Go for this. Um, I don't want it connected over there, I don't think. And let's also straighten this angle out as well. There we go. Needs bushes between the paths and the keys. We were there, Stuart. We were there, but the game crashed. <laughs> oh, hello. Random road arrow. Uh, yes, we will put bushes between the paths and the keys. We will. I actually kind of like this part life path as road here. It makes it kind of look like it's a service road for the um, the whole part, doesn't it? Very cute. Uh, let's get that rock boundary reinstalled again. Oh, we should have turned on some of the eyelows rocks, actually. Some of the red ones. That would have been cool to have over here, wouldn't it? In the little desert plantation, I guess we'll have this one as. Cool. So, can we go for cactus? Yes, we can get... Various different species, it looks like. Do the Sagueros also come into this as well? Yes, they do. Wonderful. Cool. 
go. I'll get some Glarios in. Various cacti. Some kind of Ilos exhibit if you like. Let's get some palms in there as well. California shorties and tallies. Alongside some grass blooms. I think might be welcome for the desert. And we do have some of those knocking around. There we go. And little flowered ones as well. God, it's like a flashback to Islas, isn't it? The one whip out that cute little guitar theme tune we had at the intro. Uh, not ferns. Yeah, a few of these little numbers in as well. And some undergrowth again. No, that's a little bit weird there, doesn't it? It's, same, it's a shame we don't have like a sand painter texture. That would have been nice there. Hello, James World. Welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome into the live stream. Uh, could we call it the Patali Bunutical Garden? Because that potato amphitheater is a total beaut. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can call it that if you like. Let me copy and paste that. And. Potatoly Botanical Garden. <laughs> Potatoly Botanical Garden. Absolutely, mate. Great name. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it, Joshua. Uh, losing the whole stream would be a rage quit. It wouldn't even... I think a rage quit would be an understatement. I'd have just been like, I'm done. No more content till CS2. <laughs> see you guys in... See you guys in two months. Right, yeah. Let's keep these hedgerows running. On the orders of Stuart. Get them back in. And then on the little crossing here as well for people coming in. Uh, do this as well. Happy dusts. Amazing. All right. This has turned into a phenomenally cute little area of the city. It has to be said. Tidy up some rougher surface painter work, and then we can start having a look at the uh, the tip today. Get all those rocks in. Which is going to be here, yeah, so it kind of slopes down, doesn't it? So do we maybe want to do a little bit of slope toolage up to like here? That'd be acceptable. Bring it out a little bit more than it is right now, I think. Okay. The rocks with the water sprays in are classic. Well, we do have the water jets. We do have the water jets here, so we could use them. Would you find water jets in a botanical garden? I don't know if you would or not. Can we get a hard save now? Absolutely can't get a hard save. That stuff. Let's do this year 23.5. Watch it crash on the save. <laughs> Send us back. And the next 20 hours of Thessia is constantly rebuilding that one enclosure. Right. So they were pretty massive rocks, weren't they? So we'll try and replicate this as best we can. I get some of our larger formations knocking about just on the water's edge and then we'll come in with individual placements around that absolutely love these rocks here and um, let's see if we can knock this key back a bit as well just don't think you need to be this long now do you now we know where the park is ending let's try for that and then we'll also slope out a little bit of this terrain here as well there we go the little hole in that we just dug and then just a touch of soften. There we go. Cool. Nice. Cool. And need to push that out as well, because we don't want the water actually sat on the land. 
I think probably more rocks. Um, I like the park already. I think it's a nice station to Marina. Thank you, Messiah. I do enjoy it, mate. Well, you are enjoying it. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's gonna keep happening, isn't it? Never stops. And there's just some different clusters of rock around here, though, wasn't there? Lots of very slippery, dangerous rocks to come and stand on. And uh, now it'd still be salt water, wouldn't it? I can't imagine much would grow around here in terms of foliage. Okay, I do like that not having the entire thing keyed. A little bit of rock work goes a long way, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, Joshua Helmer with the one ninety nine pound super chat. Thanks for allowing my ridiculous part name. <laughs> it's all right, Joshua. No problem at all, mate. Thank you for suggesting it. Usually, the the more ridiculous it is, the more I kind of lean into it. The funnier, the better. Rather than just a Bessier Botanical Garden. It's just too basic, isn't it? We need to have a bit of a laugh. Cool. Look at that round the side as well. And have that uh, just over here as well at some point. There, it's fine. Cool. Nice little round out to the part there, I think, isn't it? I think we're going to enjoy that. Uh, you could add some water jets, false geezers, in the botanical garden section of Icelandic Moses. Who is Icelandic Moses? Am I supposed to know who that is? <laughs> no idea if I am. Um, but I would be happy to have some um, water jets in here. We've got kind of one little last square here, don't we? So why don't we bring another exhibit into this space? And we'll make it kind of sit up against the cafe that goes out onto the. Because there's a lot of nodes gone into this build, isn't there? <laughs> there's a lot of paths and keys here. Um, next to the sea life preserve thing. Uh, we'll paint this out again with mud. And then we'll see if we can get some. I guess rainforest plants that might appreciate the water being sprayed on them. I mean, I'm sure all plants appreciate having water sprayed on them. That's kind of the whole, the whole bag, isn't it? Um, you no know, photosynthesis, etc. Uh, can we do? Um, yeah, it's just paint it. It's fine. It's fine. So I want wet trees. What, what's a wet tree? Do we have any kind of jungle looking ones? Tall gums looking pretty jungle like isn't it? These sort of droopy gums do a little bit as well. Wheel palms. Smooth gums. Wouldn't it be good if CS2 had like an inbuilt workshop that you could just be like, you know what, I need this, open up a tab, hit download, and it immediately pulls the asset into your game? How handy would that be? That's not me teasing that feature, by the way. That doesn't exist as far as I'm aware. Okay. Imagine if we called Teddy's Bridge the Basic Bridge. <laughs> yeah. Basic Bridge. I, I want to actually call it Hot Bridges in your area. I think that's been um, established. Do we actually. The Thessia Bay Bridge does have a district, doesn't it? Yeah. Wait, are we going to call it that? I do like that name. Um, right, let's create some little rock formations now. Um Oh Mosses, not Moses, right. Icelandic Moses. He split the, he split the Lord Sea. Let the Icelanders through the volcanic plane for forty years. 
Yes, Icelandic mosses, right. Not <laughs> not Icelandic moses. I'm so sorry, Gorgonzola. Right, I understand what you're saying now. Um, I don't have any moss props. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a moses prop either. No, I can't help you on both fronts there, I'm afraid. That's a good one, that, isn't it? <laughs> And egg is like that for a while. It's like, who the hell is Icelandic Moses? <laughs> like, should I know who that is? Get Icelandic Moses. I don't know who that is. What an idiot. I mean, I think, I think, I think that's pretty cute. That moment of realization. We could probably make a shot out of that one as well, couldn't we? We probably could. Let's do something other rocks as well. Try and keep these little interesting exhibits going. Okay, and let's go for a different one here. Like that. I imagine walking past this would be a nice cooling spray of mist as it hits you. There we go. I'm <laughs> laughing so hard. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying yourself, Michael. That's what we're all here for, isn't it? <laughs> Botanical gardens and Icelandic moses. That, <laughs> that's gotta be... That's gotta be Thessia law now, hasn't it? <laughs> Just thinking... <laughs> Uh, it's it's hard, you know, to read <laughs> the, the, the live chat as it scrolls down. I love as well. We've, we've actually dipped in viewers since the Icelandic Mo Moses moment. The people, <laughs> people aren't aren't happy with that. We'll get it again next time. It's hard to read as it scrolls up. Oh, Bad Wolf is off. Sadam's off to sleep. See if he's coming off the river. Thank you so much, Bad Wolf, for hanging out uh, all stream. Really appreciate it. You uh, enjoy your Australian sleep, and we'll catch you on the other side. Uh, let's go for the growth around there, and we'll get some more workshop rocks, uh, rocks around the edge as well. Um, okay. it up to where the rock starts I think. Move that palm over a little bit. I love that people are moving back and to from the keys now as well through the park. That's really bringing it a little extra layer of life isn't it? I do like that. Okay. Pretty happy with how the zoos all turned out, to be honest. How's that ferry line doing? The six year ferry journey. <laughs> Back down the rivers of Thessia. There is lots of people using it. There is people on it. There's not a lot, but you get busy with time, run it, I think. Uh, right. I think what I might do actually with the fencing is to. Bend it with the road, and then we might be able to afford, afford a few more enclosures. Not en enclosures, exhibits over here is what we're trying to do. Hey Biffo, call Blimey Governor, strike a light, it's the egg. It's the, it's the Biff. Welcome in Biffo, how are you buddy? How are you? Welcome to the stream mate. Uh, we will not have the fence extend down toward the fish and chip shop. We'll bring it across and also provide another path connection onto the key here as well. And this would probably be a good point to bring all that surface paint up to here, actually. So we kind of close off the front of this big botanic garden entrance a little. It's all a bit open and naked and underwhelming at the minute, isn't it? Oh, so do we have any... We do have room here. I'm thinking maybe a university building might go here. Possibly groundskeeping. Um, we'll search it there. For some reason, the education mini doesn't like being opened. Hmm. 
Yeah, we, 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 we can't get that in there. We'll, we'll come back to that idea in a second. Uh, so let's remove some of these trees and then we'll keep building up the um, enclosures. Doing well, thanks. Just watch the footage. So feeling good. Did Spurs win? What was the score before? You, you, are, you are a Spurs fan, aren't you? I'm sure you are. I'm pretty sure I've given you grief before on Twitter <laughs> for, for supporting Spurs. Uh, let's do our snapping here as well. There we go. And we'll do more dirt painting through here as well. Two nil result, nice one, mate. Happy days. Now to the planet three, so I will probably be in bad mood for the rest of the afternoon when we struggle to beat Nottingham Forest at home to Old, Tra Old Trafford. There we go. Uh, do you want to do more mosses? <laughs> I guess. Maybe we could maybe we could do like a pine enclosure. We don't have many pine trees in here, do we? Let's go for a selection of our our pine looking trees. There's some tall ones as well here, actually. Yeah, some of those real real chunky numbers there, aren't they? Some of these tall ones in town. Right. Okay. It's starting a city in CS2 easy. <laughs> it can be for 150 foot in the air. Yes, it can be. How, how many people, by the way, were there for the um, the start of that live stream? Because it wasn't open with a host or anything. It just went straight into the live when they were sat on the crane, ready to go up. And the very first words on that live stream VOD was someone reading an event journal from Cities 2 where 22 people had been killed in a car accident. So the Cities 2 gameplay reveal opened with the words 22 people have died <laughs> with no context. <laughs> it was like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> it's just like, is that it? That's how you got to introduce us to the gameplay premiere. 22 people are dead with no other context around that. Like live chat was hilarious. It was just absolutely hilarious to be lost in. Unfortunately, the, the bot is gone now as well due to some of the reception it received, so it's no longer available to watch. But it was it was, it was just hilarious. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, twenty two people have died. <laughs> Welcome to the gameplay premiere of City Skylines Two. Hilarious, honestly. You you, you couldn't have written it. And we'll have our rocks end over this way too. Okay, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Having that curved entrance on the front of it, round as leaving as open grass. Happy with that shot, I think. Yeah. You soon forget with that with the <laughs> amazing detail gameplay from the big creators. Yeah. Do you guys want to make Ballsville? Let me show you what you can expect if you ever go and watch a Twitch streamer. I won't even do it with anarchy on just to make it even worse. Hope you guys enjoy this riveting gameplay from bigger creators. And also have a sense of humour of a six year old. Well, City Skylines 2, everyone. Big Todd with the 10 US dollar super chat. Haven't been able to catch a live stream in quite a while. The city is looking great. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Big Todd. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you for the super chat, mate. And, uh, welcome back to your first live stream in a while. It's nice to have you back. Right, so I think we'll round out the build here, actually. With, um... Are you okay? Don't, don't tell me you've crashed again. <laughs> Please don't crash again. Come on, you can make it through it, cities. Being a, being a big content creator has crashed the stream twice today. Oh, we made it, thank God. <laughs> let, let, let me save it. Let me save it. I'm not losing this again. 
There we go. Um, right. Top notch quality streaming there, can I make? The only thing that'll make it better is if we were. What was it? 50 meters, 50 feet up in the air? <laughs> that was so funny. So funny. Uh, right, this is a university area, so I'm going to steal this for the corner of this little block over here. There we go. Let's remove that now as well. And then just paint this campus area out over the corner. And I will do my best to integrate the groundskeeping building here as well. Um, so it's the liberal arts one that I want. Are you okay, university assets? Like, what is wrong? It was doing this earlier as well with some of the other um, university stuff. Really does not like those university assets being chosen, does it? Okay, I'll have to figure that out off camera. I don't know why it's giving us stack overflow please go away right we'll use another asset and um, is there anything we can repurpose can we get a pub actually should we just do a pub on the corner maybe an industrial building actually might be best yeah, that, that's perfect, actually. That's probably better than the groundskeeping office. Um, oh my god, not again. <laughs> yeah, the fools. Um, Fire Police Gaming with a two US dollar super chat. Uh, big Rock Club of Orchid Bay requests a Big Rock Park. Thank you so much, Fire Police. Yeah, we can get a Big Rock in for you here, for sure. For the, uh, the, the, the Big Rock gang from the Orchid Bay stream. Thank you for the, the uh, two dollars, mate. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I just want this here as um, a little bit of a groundskeeping building. Where's your spawn point? Let's move out there a little bit. Let's then grab that fence node. Pull it long to about there. And then we'll have the fence go through the building. There we go. And then also come out this side. On an angle. And then get it into there as well. If we can. And then service paint this corner up as well. Cool. This way we've got like a little delivery entrance in as well. And we'll see if we can just finagle some of these rocks over. We'll go for the old finagle by biffers here. Bring it over this way. And get some trees over there as well. I think it's pretty cute, right? It does what I want it to. Probably a better choice actually than the campus building. That industrial unit's worked out quite nicely there. Very nice. Okay. I think we're happy. I think we are happy. Um, maybe a couple more trees over here. It's a little bit naked over this side, isn't it? Um, I'd also love another pathway that links onto the key here as well. People might walk around it. But that should be good. And then we will grab some of our larger Aussie themed trees. With our figs over this way. And let's move down a little bit. Classic blue gummage as well, always appreciate, isn't it? And then we'll get some thinner overgrowth just to help texture that grass up a little bit. Oh, so what we did lose as well in the crash was those little Japanese gates as well, wasn't it? Let's get these back on for the pergola. Both tasty and delicious. Cool. I'm happy with that. Curve parking lot is awesome, Meg. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? A little bit more interesting than just regular boring parking, but loads of people actually taking that 
little pathway back up to the top there, aren't they? It's very cute with them. And then we'll have a little walk through the park, shall we? So we can come in through here and just enjoy. Which way should we go? We should go past the Ilos enclosure. Exhibit? <laughs> I'm never, never going to not call it an enclosure. Love these little signs around the garden to like explain what you're looking at. Big fan of that. It's a very cute little detail, isn't it? Through here as well. And down the central reservation bit where that boab is like perfectly framed as you come through these trees. And then you got big redwood there as well from New Zealand, apparently. Not just California. And then big ironwood here too. It's a very cool little build. I'm very glad we ended up doing this today. And then little gazebos for people to enjoy. And of course you can head up to get your tickets through the crowd control. All the way through here. And then there we go. Is that a content creator pack, Pagoda? Uh, it is indeed, yes. It is the one from G the Japan content creator pack. Yep. It is. How's the bus line doing? Um, bus line is... Pretty quiet at the minute. A couple of buses busy. Yeah, pretty, pretty standard. No, no, nothing massively interesting with the bus line. Oh, there's, there's rocks on the road, of course. And I haven't completed the parking over here, have I? What a noob. Let me do that now. Uh, we're using the three parking lots here, were we? Oh, hello. Road nodes, are you okay? There we go. And let's do this as well. So all the um, parking in CS2 is bloppable as well, by the way. They're kind of a small, medium and large variant of them. It's kind of hoping for some Parking lot roads s functionality, but it looks like we'll have to wait for mods to bring that. I do like, especially having gotten into modded cities one in the last year or so of its lifespan. I've come to appreciate custom parking lots in the city now. Okay, save the rocks. So we don't have any massive biffer alien rocks. Otherwise, we'd be more than happy to have a little. Um, I mean that's that's a pretty big one, isn't it? Does this sink into the ground? No, it doesn't. Um, I mean, I'd be happy to have it here, though. We did want... Um, Fire Police Gaming wanted a big rock gang, so I'd be happy to have a, a New Zealand alien rock reference somewhere in Thestia. We don't have many different references in the video. So if we have there, we'll make this part of our park here. Let's wrap our nature as a pathways around it. And we'll see if we can do a little flower mural out the front. Um, do the aliens in New Zealand or the alien rocks have any name associated with them? Or any kind of word that I can use around here? I don't know if they've ever been named or not. Either Biffa himself or... Those that I've seen the entire New Zealand series I'm sure can inform me of such, I think. So I'll be happy to have that there. Hey Minot, welcome to the stream buddy, how are you? Nice to see you mate. Alien Rock Park. Should we do a um, APR then? Or a a ARP? We can do that. So we'll go for... Two there and then we'll do A... Oh. Get a little curve on here. I might have to bring them slightly out of the rocks in a second, but bear with me. We'll get there. Cool. Let's grab our trees with move it. Bring this down a little bit. Cool. 
and then we'll, well actually we've got um the animals are back <laughs> the animals are back um where's the bin chicken we need to bring the bin chicken back into the downtown because he was lost last episode all right get the bin chicken there um and then we've got that show going out we so we'll get um we'll give biffers park a a mitch we'll give it a mitch Mitch can be sat here having been called out to this. Because obviously someone's reported it, haven't it just randomly appeared, courtesy of the aliens moving the rocks. And I will give him Oh, where is it? There we go. I'm trying to find Mitch's car. That's it, we'll, we'll make Mitch sit down on the bonnet, so he's got here, and he's just like, what the bloody hell is that, Mike, hmm? Who's done that? Right? And he's just... <laughs> just sat like, who the fuck's done this? <laughs> so he can sit there as well, and now we've got more of the animals turned on, we can complete the coven on the inside of the park. And we'll grab all of those animals. These are very small though, aren't they? Oh, I hope I hope they elevate. They must do, surely. Oh, are these props? They are props. So I have one here. Um, it's a lot of birds. There's a bear as well. I don't think bears are native to Australia, though, are they? They are now. We'll have the bear over here, and um, we'll do a bin chicken in the park as well. Uh, can we get another bin chicken coming in? I did put a bin down, didn't I? Um, over by the ferry terminal. We'll get another bin chicken here. And then Mitch can kind of turn around to see it, because it's directly behind him. He's over there. Meech. Oh, do you have to pronounce it Meech? Because <laughs> of the Aussie accent. It's bloody Meech, mate. Hmm? Get on the highway and get over to Sentinel. <laughs> I've, I've kind of perfected the Aussie accent now. Anything with the word A in it, super easy to pronounce. Anything after that is really hard. To get on the highway, get to Sentinel. Benizia. <laughs> it's so really easy to pronounce. And even beyond that is um is too hard. The Australia Zoo. Well, we've we've got the croc. Was like the croc actually won this time. But either way, guys, we've been live for a little three hours now, and that, that is the botanical garden pretty much complete. A really fun build, so I think we will leave the live stream there. Oh, there's people as well. No one around. Absolutely delicious. Really, really, really fun build today. So thank you for hanging out on the live streams, guys. We will say our goodbyes with uh, a little nighttime view of the wonderful new park. Look at that. How great is that? <laughs> well, absolutely delicious. Love that. Cool. Uh, the only cities YouTubers I watch are friends. Great to see the shared support. Take care. Yeah, Biffer has been a very big supporter of my channel. He's very, he's very cute with me. He gives me advice and help whenever I ask him for it and he's shared my videos and shouted me out several occasions. He's an absolute hero of the people. A lot of love for Biffer in the chat uh, from you all. Uh, but either way, we will uh, give someone a little host. Uh, who haven't we hosted for a while? Uh, will CS has just started a vanilla build, hasn't he? Uh, yes, he has. Will has started of another build. So I will link you all to um, Will CS, um, who has just started a new vanilla build. Will is a very heavily modded player, and he's now exploring the vanilla side of the game for the first time. So if you've enjoyed it, please do throw him a sub and a like. His link is in the live chat. 
Otherwise, let's have some shout outs of all our favourite faithfuls here, shall we? So, Dush, Barry, Jody, Joshua, Grizzly, uh, Jermaine, Alan, Tanapon, Barry again, Jody, Joshua, uh, Governor, Miner, and Eggsy as well. For you. Thank you for all moderating, guys. Really appreciate you all. Sire, uh, Spaghetti Noodle, Star Stuff, Biffa as well, of course. Uh, you're all heroes of the people, Brian Pickle, uh, Sire, Jerrion, Jody Cox. I think I've already shouted out Jody. Uh, Terry, uh, not Terry, Teddy as well, of course. <laughs> uh, Teddy as well. Uh, Bad Attitude, Michael, Fire Police, Emma. Thank you for hanging out, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Really fun botanic garden build today. Um, if you've got nothing else to do with the rest of your afternoon, um, leave me a comment on the stream VOD after it's finished. Always helps these stream VODs do a little bit better. And, of course, it will be up once it's processed on YouTube's end. But really fun build today. Um, great inspiration from that botanic garden, wasn't it? Oh, look at, the, look at that. You can see the, the shadows of the train <laughs> moving past on the bridge. That's so cool. I hadn't noticed that before. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, they're really fun. Yeah, really good ideas. Thanks for suggesting assets and getting involved. Um, amphitheater in the temple. Totally your guys' builds. Uh, really cool. Yeah, Terry... <laughs> Terry Radko. <laughs> Just a different person. It's like Teddy's evil twin who's really bad at cities and can't build bridges. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for that one well thank you for hanging out guys i really appreciate you all i will see you on monday for more build guide i'm gonna go play cities 2 now <laughs> so i'll see you all in a bit let's thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day